Hello? We'll be... Ah, there we go. <clears throat> we'll be starting in about nine minutes. And that should be... Should be enough time for people to file in. Get themselves ready.
Right, I think that's more than enough waiting time. <laughs> yes, I know the Unified Armada logo should perhaps have some different colors and maybe a few less triangles, but it's it's the repurposed um, Capital Ship Tournament logo in the end. Okay. <clears throat> <laughs> All right. Okay. Good morning, everybody. Or afternoon, or your regional equivalent, and welcome to Reassembly. Specifically, a lovely little tournament that I've been waiting to do for about four months. <laughs> this is Unified Armada, and it's uh, quite a fun novel little fleet battle that we haven't really done before, I don't think. At least not for a long time. Basically, we have 11 participants. Each participant must send in 7 ships, and each ship must be from one of the in-game vanilla factions that you can normally unlock throughout the campaign. So we have Terran, Farmer, Tinkerel, Reds, uh, Sentinel, Crystalline, and Bees. These 7 vanilla faction... factions. Factions. So, we have 11 uh, participants. <laughs> And uh, these are some fascinating fleets, <laughs> I have to say. I'm I'm not sure what to make of half of them. They're uh, they're they're special. I love them. They're great. So <laughs> we'll go through them slowly. Um, first of all, we are using a mod for reassembly. It's called Standardized Factions uh, S by Duke Slayer. The Standardized Factions S mod basically um, attempts to equalize the P values, uh, the PowerPoint values, between the different factions and kind of do some other balancing stuff. It's very nice. It does a very good job. Uh, and it's centered around fleet combat with different factions. It's very nice. I think it's okay. So we're giving it a go for this. So you'll notice that all the P values are enormous, and that's because your basic values get multiplied by 10. So, of course, these are actually only. Uh, what, 21,000, yeah, 21,000 P caps, so 21K, which is a very small fleet, but it looks like 210,000, it looks enormous. So, uh, alright, I think it's about time that I go through each fleet individually. Well, I guess I should go through a few of the rules first. Um, just give me one moment. Sorry, I've got a bit of a very uh, interesting cough. Okay, let's move on. <clears throat> so, let's uh, let's let's run through the rules as I was as I was thinking. <clears throat> um, so first of all, seven ships. You have to have seven ships unless you're lucky. <laughs> Who did send in seven ships, but one of those ships were disqualified. So each ship can be between two thousand and four thousand. PowerPoints, uh, which converted into standard factions is 20,000, 40,000. Um, you have a total fleet limit of 21, of uh, 210,000. So naturally, you can't actually make all of them 40,000, and uh, you kind of have to decide, okay, which ships do I want to give more more power to, or which ships do I want to give less power to, etc. Uh, then, of course, there are no banned blocks, first of all. There are no banned blocks. There's nuclear option, there's Tinkerel, there's crazy stuff. Uh, but we rely on standardized factions to balance it, and it actually does quite a nice job, um, as I think I've already said before. Um, right, we have a maximum, we have a minimum speed limit of 250, which has bitten a few people in the butts, but we'll talk about that later. Um, we'll talk about that as we get to it. And each ship has a 1,000 blocks maximum. You can only have 1,000 blocks at maximum, and it's 800 bounding radius. So we want reasonably medium, medium to large scale ships we don't and small ships we, we don't want titans and leviathans and mammothetic vessels um the board is relatively small for this tournament relatively small um i think that's all the primary rules i am umming and ahhing because I, I need to fill the silence while i try to remember my own rules okay let's go through the participants first of all we have um de bricks <laughs> I love the bricks. The bricks is great. 
Ah, uh, Debris is amazing. So um, this is a, com a a joint a joint submission from Debris and Imperiex, um, which is amazing. I'm very I love it. It's great. So this is the West Coast product by Debris. <laughs> So we have the we have the Tinkerel ship, we have the Red ship, we have the Crystalline ship, we have the Sentinel ship, the Darren ship, the Farmer ship, and the Bee ship. And they're they're these are re reasonably tough ships. <laughs> this thing is a I love the look of this thing. Very nice color palette as well. Well, kind of bland, but a little bit of like orangey red there, and a little bit of white. Oh, it's, it's nice, a little bit of you know brick. By the way, I've got a new headset, so my apologies if I'm a bit too loud or something. Um, but anyway. <clears throat> Okay. Uh, let's. Then we have Deja Vu. <laughs> we have Deja Vu by Duke Slayer. <laughs> Deja Vu. I've just been in this place before, higher on the streets, and I know it's my time to go. <laughs> I love this so much. This literally this rocks my world. This is fantastic. <laughs> And this is a very tough fleet, by the way. This is a tanky fleet. This fleet is HP disparity in a nutshell. <laughs> These things have enormous amounts of health. Anyway, so we have Red, we have Farmer, uh, Tinkerel, we have Crystal... No, we have Terran. Crystal... Uh, this is Sentinel B? Uh, no, this is Sentinel, this is B. Okay. Or you B. I can't listen. I can't remember. <laughs> it's difficult to tell with all the... When it's reasonably zoomed out. Right, then we have People Federation by I Am Bob. Uh, we have. Uh, I Am Bob actually didn't affix his name to this, <laughs> but he fixed it here, so I put it over here. People Federation, so we have Unnamed Spaceship. We have Owl Feathers, we have Alex, Ixwa, Danny, Prototype, and Alois. <laughs> so yes, I Am Bob effectively sent an army of fellow <laughs> reassemblants. I love it. Fantastic. Lovely idea. And uh, it's just a normal black and white palette. Uh, I mean, makes everything look the same, so I, I, I mean, fair enough. Okay, nice. We'll have a look at... Uh, is there anything I wanted to say? Not really. I just, I like the ships. They're quite fun. Then we have Where by Joyous. <laughs> so, Where by Joyous 18. We have Tur 2, Cry, Tin Sin, Be Far Red. <laughs> I love it. It's a great fleet. Actually, absolutely, absolutely fantastic fleet. I love this B ship. It's very, it's funky. We'll we'll talk more about it when we actually see him. <clears throat> I'm sorry that I'm not reading chat at this moment. I want to get through these. Uh, then we have Unified Prefam Fleet by Lucky DGL. Now Lucky was very cheeky. He didn't really check the ships he sent in, <laughs> so I ended up having to do some small change. I'm not gonna. I didn't do massive changes. I'm not. I'm not building a fleet for him. But I, uh, he had a couple of extra, he had a lot of extra power points left over. So I added in, I added in some engines <clears throat> on a couple of his ships to make them meet the speed requirements. And then the one ship that did not meet requirements at all, I've just removed. Uh, and so he's at a massive disadvantage. Okay, there's a massive disadvantage. So we, yeah, because that's Lucky, but Lucky's got a, you know, he's got a prefab fleet. I think I've seen pretty much all of these ships at tournaments before. It's great. All right, then we've got the Seven Sins by Lyoff, and look at him hitting 21 on the dot. You know, him and De Bricks. Of course, the com the two brains are better than one guy. He's got directly on to it on 210k. Uh, Lyoff also did. So uh, Lyoff is the only other competitor that actually got spot on. I think didn't Owl? Why? Okay, I don't know. Whatever, but. Lyolf. So he has he has wrath. <laughs> he has uh, wrath from the the Terrans, uh, Terrans, bees, reds, uh, Tinkerel, farmer, crystalline sentinel. No Terran, Terran. Which one is a oh, wrath is sentinel. Which if you equate them to the to the sins, very very uh, on point. <laughs> the reds envious of being a you know a proper tough faction. <laughs> The Crystalline, always gorging themselves on massive vessels. And the Terran, because of course the Terrans are prideful, obviously. And the farm is obviously greedy. <laughs> I love it. Very nice flash. Very nice ships, by the way. I like the I like the color scheme. Just nice blue with a stark dark and a bit of white. Very nice. And quite tough ships. Then, of course, we have Mons, Mons's Unificatorium. Uh, or or, unif or unificate, Unificator, Unificatorium... 
Ficatorium is a weird thing to pronounce. I'm trying to say F I C A T O. Ficatorium. Fic okay, anyway. Mons, Mons, <laughs> Mons is Unificatorium. So uh, here's the Terran, Sentinel, Farmer, Red, Crystal, Tinkrell, B. Very nice ships, rather tough. And very, he's, he's had these, he has these super maneuverable little shield balls, which are very cool. We'll have a look at those later. And then Owl Feathers. <laughs> Owls as oddities. I love it. Owls as oddities. Pr Plasma Brawler, Terran. <clears throat> Bizarre. <laughs> Please. Some kind of farmer thing. Farmer. Tempestuous blob. Reds. Wheel of misfortune. <laughs> is this crystalline? It is crystalline. Uh, Tonker, which is bees, I believe. Oh, sorry. Uh, it's not bees. Terran. Uh, Tinkrell. Tinkrell? Tinkrell. And then Nook, which is Sentinel, has a nuke on it. Obviously, it has a nuke, which is total madness. Okay. Foggy Morning by Splinter. Ah, okay. Splinter. Splinter didn't name any of his vessels. He's a complete... You know, he's a he's a nutcase. Um, just I just 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 refused. He just, just refused to put names. Everyone else would name their vessels, Splinter. Everyone else would take a level of gratification in naming their vessels, but not you. But Splinter has some very nice ships, and they all have the same color palette, by the way, which is a good achievement. It's kind of like an off pinky. I'm not sure what this is. Lavender with a bit of like light green. Very nice. Very nice. Looks nice. Uh, and these are some crazy designs. I like this. And this. Just, okay. We'll talk about it later. Uh, there we have... <laughs> I hate this fleet with a burning passion. God damn it. Of course, I'm, of course. Of, this is some bulkrum. I'm not going to read any of this. You can just, you can read it yourself. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, but this is a very this is a very interesting fleet. I like this ship. It's it's nuts. We'll we'll see it just now. Uh, right then we have Unified Derp Marder by Exterp. You know we didn't need, I don't even need to put his name in there. It's it's already there. It's present. Exterp has a very nice little fleet actually. It's actually quite effective for 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 what it's worth. So we have Heon over here. We have Hive Master, Lobster King, Second Generation. Um, Moonshark, Corruptor, Corvette Mark, point six point five, and Dreen, Dreen, yeah, Dreen. He's special. We'll leave him to it. But <laughs> so the the Mad Frenchman has once again brought us a very interesting fleet. Um, okay, now let's uh, quickly look over these settings. Arena border soft. Arena size twenty thousand. Fields no fields. Arena fill off. Resources off. Time limit is two minutes. This is quite against the clock. Uh, rounds is three, auto advance always, double elimination, damage inflicted. Uh, it was damage taken, but I changed the damage inflicted because damage inflicted just works better. Um, at least f for my feeling right now. We have a five second countdown. And um, good. All right. Now, everyone, you have a minute. Any objections? Any objections? <laughs> Some little grabs like, I wasn't expecting you to read them out. It's like, yeah. <laughs> I love it. Okay. Uh, yes. Yes, I am Bob. You have arrived just in time. Okay, wow, there's a lot of chat. Uh, I picked the Unificatorium because laps like playing with words, so I gave him a word to play with. <laughs> Owl feathers. It does sound very Lapsian. And yeah, not all wedges, bees doesn't fit right. Far as to go. Yeah. Splits have been redacted. This is wisdom. <laughs> Simple classic Lamal. Absolutely. We expect no less. <laughs> Nightmare. Yeah, Splinter. <laughs> Joyce, add a random ship to uh, DGL for fairness. No, he didn't reply to my emails. He had weeks. He had weeks to say something. He didn't say anything. I'll give him something from Zorzak Mueller. Something ru reasonably rubbish. <laughs> give him something completely rubbish. Uh, he's a fireball. No, give, give him a fireball. No, no. Uh, Vexa. We don't want a Crucible. A Crucible's a key vessel. No, I'm not giving him anything. He gets to suffer. <laughs> he just sent... He blind sent me a fleet. And you know what? I'm glad he sent something. But at the same time, you know, he has to respond to me. Um, the other ship that he had was had 800 extra blocks. Although it was it was a red ship, so I don't think it matters. <laughs> shall, we, could, <laughs> shall we add in Lucky's full fleet? Just... It's, not, it's really not going to make a difference. It's got like 2,000 blocks, but it's not going to make a difference. It's so weak. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, no, Splinter, no one made multiple fleets. Not a single person. Uh, damage inflicted might and fear of the Terran ship. Did they fix the scoring method? Means tanks are a bad idea. He had a weeks to reply. Yeah, yeah. Did anyone make multiple fleets? Uh, I mean, okay, well, listen, if, we, if damage inflicted is a problem, we can go back to damage taken. But the problem is damage taken means that anyone that has total damage inflicted is generally considered not a good idea. Oh, yeah, because of the... Yes, yes, okay, thank you. This is, see, this is why I wait. No, this is why I wait. <laughs> this is why I wait. Um, it doesn't mean that Sumplecrum is at a massive disadvantage and that Lucky is at a massive disadvantage, but... Um, well, Lucky's already at a massive disadvantage, what are we saying? Uh, okay, well, listen, we're just going to go for it. Then we'll have our after party, and when we have the after party, we can give Lucky some, some ships and see how he does. Uh, and we can also bring in some ships from uh, Floof, um, or as he calls himself now, Cherry. And bring in some ships. He made some very nice looking ships, and he said, well, here, yeah, um, play them in, in the after party or whatever. Um, good. Survival! <laughs> no, survival means we'll be here forever. Is survival. No. Okay, no, I think we're fine with this. We're fine. We're taking it, because after all, this is the thing I'd selected in the first place, and then I changed over this a little bit later, but I have forgotten that there's certain scoring irregularities with missiles and with drones. Basically, damage inflicted can do very weird stuff, and damage taken generally behaves a bit better, although it does favor the higher-pointed team, but you know what? This is a video game tournament. It doesn't have to be perfect. Yeah, exactly. Thanks, Mons. Damage inflicted gives points for destroying drones, missiles, and makes armor give huge, huge amounts of points. <laughs> Suffer, come I'd say I have something to achieve. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> Whatever works. Okay, guys, we're ready. Let's just go for it. Let's just start. Let's just stop faffing around. Uh, all this is set. Da -da -da. One last final check. Arena board is soft. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, hold on. Don't lose your horses. Options. Music is off, SFX is 10, full screen window, frame rate 60 FPS cap, because I am streaming, so... I am streaming, so my computer is chugging a little bit. It's not exactly happy about the situation, but it's trying. This is up to second, only 60, we could buff it up to 90. Should be fine, should be fine. Um, we only have 7 ships, there's not a lot of insanity going on, luckily. Particle effects is on, all this stuff is on, uh, should handle it. Okay. Tournament. Okay, let's just go. Begin! The Unified Armada! Alright, first of all, we have Joyous. We have We <laughs> by Joyous18 and Seven Sins by Holayolf. Alright, okay, let's ask Joyous. Joyous is a fun looking fleet. He just left them all their normal factional colors. Mwah! Beautiful. Uh, so here's a tanky crystal ship over here with some very nice spaced crystal armor. Uh, again, tanky sentinel ship with spaced armor. Interesting that he went for a lot of small guns in the center. Uh, a couple of guns at the front. And if, like two flurry missiles just for... I don't know what, but just two flurry missiles. Because he could. <laughs> I love it. Here's a bombardment farmer ship. The ship is actually quite fast. Actually very fast. Um, but uh, it has some very nice missiles here. Then we have a drone... Dedicated drone vessel with... Something that is genuinely freaky. <laughs> Joyce put shard launchers on his B ship. He put shard launchers on the madman. This is this is unheard of. This doesn't happen. This doesn't happen, guys. No one puts shard launchers on a B ship ever. So, um, Joyce, I have great hopes for you. I hope you absolutely thrash the floor with your opponents. Wah. <laughs> okay. Then we have Tur, Tur 2, which is just a giant Terran skull, uh, with a lot of storage capacity. Uh, he's obviously anticipating victory, but he's got a nice, just a nice torpedo salvo. Mm. Ah, does good damage. Does actually pretty nice damage when it gives a good hit. Otherwise, this vessel has got some, <laughs> got some beam projectors. We'll see how effective those are. Not beam projectors, um, plasma projectors. They're the little directional gunned uh, spinal brrr guns. You know, the brrr guns. There you go. And he's got a nice... He's actually got a quite a nice little sentinel ship here. He's got a nice little gun, good range, good damage, nice velocity. I'm not sure about that power generation. I think it's fine. It looks like enough, but never know central ships. And very well shielded, so should do okay. Got a lot of point defense. And then... Mwah, red Insanity. Just, it's a dedicated red drone ship with a million lasers. It's a million lasers! I love it! 
<laughs> just, just drones and lasers. Everything you need from the reds. Okay, then we have Lyoff with seven sins. Lyoff has some very nice tough ships here, by the way. This Sentinel, this uh, Terran ship, very tough, actually. You wouldn't think it. It looks quite reek, reasonably to this, but actually it ends up doing reasonably well. It's got a lot of shields in here. Got a lot of burst, some, some, some light missiles. Actually, quite a lot of light missiles and drones. It's quite a competent ship. Over here we have the Tinkrell. Yeah, it's the Tinkrell one, I believe. Yeah, with the little Tinkerel uh, laser. Are these No, they're not lasers, they're just gun drones. Interesting decision to not actually do a proper... Because the problem is Tinkerel have butter armor. It doesn't matter. They, uh, you, you know, <laughs> Tinkerel and Reds, doesn't matter. the amount of hull is kind of, kind of irrelevant <laughs> in how well they function. So this is a very interesting design decision. It's quite fast as well. In fact, I think it's... Yes, no, this is the fastest ship in his fleet, the B-Vessel. And this is just a dedicated drone ship with, like, it has one doom beam at the front because he could. And a lot of anchor drones and things. It's, it's actually, this is a very tanky ship. Again, love the color scheme for this one. Um, Sentinel ship, lots of heavy firepower, a few central gorse, uh, a little bit of a little bit of armor. Nothing much to write home about, but it looks very nice. It has a nice look to it, I have to say. Well done. Very fast. Then the crystal ship, which is just bombardment. It's just bombardment. Pure bombardment. I think it's crazy. Um, and then, actually, it is also quite fast. Well, they all have to be fast. They have to be above 250 forward acceleration. Uh, red ship. Eh, you know. Quite a quite a normal, nice little red ship there. Got a nice color scheme there. A lot of tempests. With a lot of drones, surprisingly. A lot of drones. And then, of course, this monstrosity of a farmer vessel. It just looks really nice. I just like it. It looks really nice. Lots of missiles. Definitely bombardment material. Okay, let's go. Katwa! <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, yeah. <laughs> One down. One down already. And that's a lot of drones and missiles. One down as well. That crystal ship did not last very well long. Oh, another pop. And... You see? You see? That Terran ship actually survives pretty well, despite it was under a lot of firepower for, for a few moments. It's actually difficult to tell who's on whose team, because the colors are just whatever. It's great. <laughs> Ooh, B ship wiped out. Nice. Well, not nice for Joyce, but pretty good for Lyolv. Ooh, look at that nice stream of missiles. I'm not sure what to focus on right now. There's quite a quite a menagerie of events going on. Again, these raid ships sending <laughs> droves of, of laser drones. It's fantastic. Ah, oh yes, this little Sentinel, uh, Sentinel Tinkerel does a very nice job. Good old Sentinel, powerful weapons. Powerful weapons, terrible armor, and pretty good shields. The <laughs> Sentinel's doing his job, look at him. He just doesn't care. Well, the Crystal Line also doesn't care, but I mean, it's great. Just, I'm just going to sit here. Pure bombardment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, guys, alright. Uh, pure bombardment. <laughs> it's got no guns. It's got no guns. It's got no guns. Uh, this is going to be interesting. Oh, no, okay, good, no. Tinkerel's here to hopefully slowly kill the crystal line. So Joyce is three. Where? <laughs> where? 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 God damn it. <laughs> oh, here come the shards. Ooh. They do. Mm. So they, they took off that front line of, of uh, Sentinel armor actually quite well. Very nice. Very nice. Pure bombardment. Yeah. No, Joyce took it. Yeah. I'm, I'm doing a bizarre combination of reading chat and looking at this. So sometimes it's difficult to tell who I'm talking to. <laughs> it's my own fault. Oh, this is a nice little drone battle over here. Look at this B ship just going for it. Look at him. Oh, off he goes. He hit his friend. He hit his friend. It's Punty Grill just goes flying. Ha <laughs> ha! Way, 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 way! <laughs> Fantastic. 
Uy. Oh. Okay, this is a very busy combat scenario. I like this. Okay, I'm just going to look up here for a little bit. The crystal is slowly... Oh, he got him. Pop. And over here... Just a slow menagerie flies. Some missiles and drones. Boogo, bang, bang, bang. Boom, boom, boom. Blah, blah, blah. Just... <laughs> this is so ridiculous. Why, choice? Why is that what you put on your ship? Oh, I love it. Lyoph has two ships left. It's just these two. It's the Crystalline and the um, the Sentinel vessel. Right? Or am I confused? Oh no, it's this it's this one and the Yeah, no, it's okay, okay. It's the crystal and the and the Terran. Do you know do we? It's okay if we say we delay doesn't matter. Absolutely, Splinter. Absolutely. Nice. Joyce takes it. Shame, Lyoff. Very nice fleet, Lyoff, but uh, unfortunately, lost. Okay. Uh, okay. You know what? I'm going to leave Exterp as a palate cleanser. Let's go deal with this monstrosity of a situation. <laughs> oh, I love it every time. Okay. <clears throat> so, Sample Kramer has come along with uh, Sample Slut 7 for your pleasure. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, and this is, a, this is a, a violently pink fleet with um, a nice little torpedo... Torpedo entourage here, just nice, good, good old pure bombardment, um, with a very interesting, very interesting pattern. I actually like the pattern here; it's quite interesting, just nice to look at. Then we have this thing. Yeah, I'm gonna leave that alone. Uh, <laughs> no, it's just, just a massive, massive crystal brawler with like one side of pure bombardment. Pure bombardment? No, just got big guns, big guns. A few missiles. Like, there's like three missiles. <laughs> there's three missiles. It's just three missiles. Cause, and then there's this. I can't even remember what faction this is. Is this just farmer? Was this? I can't even remember. I think that's Sentinel, but just with all pure armor. I think it's just a tank. Okay, then we have the B ship, which is ridiculous. I yeah, I love it. It's ridiculous. And this, mm, now you see, this is how you build a red, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Just pure, pure tempests. No hull, no unnecessary weight. Pure lasers at the front. Explosive energy generation core segments. And some laser drones. This is, this is the pinnacle of red engineering most of the time. And it works very nicely. I, I like it a lot. Okay, then we have his farmer ship here, which, again, pure bombardment, just missiles, with like one gun and two defense lasers. Very nice shield, though, big shield, generally keeps it safe, surprisingly, you wouldn't think that, but it actually survives a bit of a bit of a smacking. Then, the Tinker Gun ship. It's actually a pretty good ship. This does well for itself. And it's a very interesting gun design. <laughs> he, just, he just kind of squeezed and he built the, the structure and then built everything else. Hold on. Okay. Ah, all right, all right, all right. Uh, oh, by the way, I should probably warn you all. <laughs> if if I suddenly disappear at any point during the stream, it's because my city is having a blackout. <laughs> just just in case you wonder. Um, anyway, so um, okay, this is a very nice little uh, Tinkerel ship. Okay, is there anything else I wanted to point out? No. Okay, let's go have a nice palette cleanser with this wonderful dip modder. Uh, <laughs> Okay, so Exurb has come up with some very nice looking ships. Very nice. Very nice, actually. I like this ship. Very nice, complicated um, crystal vessel with factories, for some reason. For some reason, factories. Don't ask me. I don't know. It's Exurb. We don't really, we don't really ask him questions when it comes to his design philosophy because it's, 
it's as it is. So we've got some missiles, got some haphazard guns, we've got like a very very nice little structure going on here. Good hull, I like it, I like it. Uh, yellow, which is good. S jumping out yellow with everything else being kind of a grey white, uh, and it, it, it looks nice. Looks nice. Looks nice. Simplicity. But then extreme contrast to the rest of his fleet, which is just pure yellow. Just complete pure yellow. <laughs> Ah, shucks. We have this uh, Terran vessel, which just has one plasma because it can, and a bunch of proton swords. These proton swords, by the way, absolutely bloody deadly. <laughs> These things murder stuff. It's great. Um, if it doesn't get destroyed first, but generally if this thing manages to survive it, it does a lovely job of just cutting things to ribbons. And then I think one of the better, one of the better, one of the best, one of the best, it's either this one or someone else's, but this one does really well. Um, Exturb's Tinkrell ship is to be reckoned with. This thing is really, really good. Really good when it decides to behave itself. It just fires and eviscerates things. Okay, then of course we have his, his Sentinel, which just has a nuke there's not much else to say it has a nuke and some collectors because of course he wants to collect the um the refuse of of, of well his obliterated enemies <laughs> just he has a nuke it's great okay um then we have our b we have dren which is dren, dren. good old dren yes dren okay that's dren um <laughs> we have his red <laughs> don't put you Anchors, anchors and drones, and some PD. Nothing much else to say about it. Very rough, reasonably, you know, very industrial. I feel, I feel that Exterp has gone for a very industrial design philosophy here. Look at that, very straight lines, very pure squares. Yeah, yeah, oh, excellent, excellent. With a good shield generator in the middle. Mm, very industrial. Okay, great, excellent. We'll move on from there. Red ship, very nice. I like it. Looks, mwah, looks very nice. I like the little, the little, uh, the, the, what, the, uh, I had nice words for this before. I had nice words for this before, but now it's dead. Hello? Did my computer just crash? <gasps> no? <gasps> okay. Oh. <laughs> I'm serious. Everything just stopped moving and went quiet for like a second, and I just freaked out. Okay. But these little bubbles, these little bubbles of phases look very nice. I like the coloring again. The yellow with, with kind of a blacky red just looks nice. Um, the ship, not really worth much. <laughs> not really worth much but it does you know it tries um it has very okay it okay that's a lie it is worth quite a lot because it does have regeneration drones but the regeneration drones don't really well they do a good job but they don't always do a good job so we'll see how that works out but it's a nice ship I like it very exposed generators at the back actually why am i saying that it's a red ship it's exposed by default okay farmer ship again pure bombardment Pure bombardment. This thing is excellent. Just rows of, of, of these good old uh, farmer missiles, which do a very good job. They're high damage. They're reasonably maneuverable. Quite cheap for what it's worth. They're very good. And then he just has a bunch of... Oh, these longbows or railguns? I can't remember because they both look identical. It's infuriating. One is terrible. The other's great. Okay. It has generator armor. Yeah, yes, it does. It does have generator armor. I agree with you. <laughs> Okay, um, yeah, no, this thing is actually, this thing, very fast, again, very fast, interesting frontal armor, kind of layered design, it's reasonably tough from the front for a farmer ship, you know, it's got some unobtainium, so it does a good job of surviving for a little while, but the problem is, you know, any, any direct, you know, there's it, about a 45 degree angle from which it's defended, the other, like, <laughs> 315 degrees it is completely exposed but you know it, it moves fast enough that it generally doesn't matter okay let's let these guys fight let's go for it ah oh, watch that sentinel fire gone red obliterated wiped off the face of the earth so like i said this uh, exterp is one of the one of the better uh, tinkerel vessels the other tinkerel sample tinkerel is okay but um yeah, it, it's it's interesting about when it decides to actually attack things. Ah, uh, well. Exterp, bye-bye. There's this farmer vessel. <laughs> the B and red ship are actually doing a reasonable... Okay, the red, never mind. Forget about the red. It's kind of decided that it doesn't want to live anymore. Oh, no, it's fine. Okay, 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 okay. Fine. okay I'm going to stop talking. Exterp has got a quite a kiter heavy fleet, as it ends up most of the time. When the red doesn't decide to just go suicide into enemies. 
And the Sample Chrome has just got a very tanky fleet. HP disparity in a nutshell. Very nice, very nice. <laughs> Generator armor. Sounds like an Aloys thing. Yeah, it does, actually. <laughs> it's a seizure, yeah, basically. Um. Ooh! 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 <laughs> oh, I didn't even realize this. Yeah, you see, just cuts through things. Doesn't care. It does not care. It just goes. It's a spinner. Except, oh, 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 oh yes. Come on, come on, Xtep. Come on, get him. Come on, Xtep. Come on, Xtep. Come on, <laughs> come on, <laughs> come on, Xtep. Oh, I'm, I'm starving. Actually, I should probably just have my supper. Um, come on, next step. Come on, next step. Come on, next step. I have never felt sadness so extreme in all of my existence as in this one moment. <laughs> okay, torpedoes away. Boom, boom, boom. Crystal vessel. Was the yeah, it was the crystal. Crystal vessel annihilated. Very powerful, uh, good old bombardment there. Okay. Extra, your, your Tinkerel isn't doing a great job this time. I, I say as it just wipes out the front of the red ship. Oh, what a dive! Just going, whoonk, katwa! Off it goes. That's great. That's actually great, I love that. But that raid wasn't really worth much, I have to say. Extra, please pick your targets. <laughs> please. Please, Extra. Please, extra, please. <laughs> you did so well in the trials. Well, the trials. When I test, I test all the fleets. I have to just to see what's going to happen. Because I kind of just want a little bit of a little. Bit of, I want to know what the fleet's general just is, how it kind of ends up behaving. But Xtrip did better in this. Well, he was fighting different people. Fair enough, but still. So there you go. Sample wins. Well done, Sample Graham. Well done. In celebration, I'm going to take a bite of food. Well, actually, I'm going to pause first, but then I'm going to... Oh, no, it's, this is a rematch. Okay, we've seen these guys before. <laughs> no, AVM LAA. No, bad. <laughs> Sorry. Damn it. Uh... <laughs> uh... Okay, this is a nice battle. I have to say, very, very nice to look at. Pop. Okay, I'm going to have a bite of my food while these guys fight. We've seen them before, so this should be quite fun, though. Exterp, you, Exterp, you've constructed a vessel worthy of the last stand navy, brother. <laughs> he survives this poor thing. That poor ship. <laughs> poor thing. Ah, oh, shucks. Lyolf, like I said, Lyolf, very nice fleet. It's actually very tough. It actually generally does a very good job against people. <laughs> pure bombardment versus impure bombardment, indeed. Uh, this is this is my supper, by the way. I'm eating my supper. It's like it's hopper seven. I had to literally come here. I, I just you know couldn't have supper before. 
wasn't really ready. It wasn't time. This is such a sprayed battlefield. Okay, auto camera, you're actually doing a nice job today, so I'll just you'll let you handle it. I trust you guys can at least vaguely see what's happening. I mean, 720p isn't bad. Yeah. Pure Bob Boy versus <laughs> uh, I don't know why that makes me laugh so much. Ooh, run! Run, Exip! Run! <laughs> He's lost his weight! Fire! Fire! Go! No, not through the missiles, Exip! Exip! No! <laughs> Oh no! Pop, pop goes the weasel. Yeah, shame. Uh, in the end, Xtrip doesn't have a very high HP disparity. I was, I was contemplating um, after this doing a variant of the tournament where I split up the fleets into their sort of HP categories, so to, so to speak. So if your high HP density fleets versus uh, against each other and your low dense HP density fleets okay. <laughs> I love it um, and your low density HP fleets against each other and just kind of see how that works out it should be quite nice <laughs> oh, I love way way is great seven sins okay shame Exterp you out shame buddy Exterp you had a very nice fleet you actually do well against some of the other guys you actually do but unfortunately, not your time. Okay, stop it. Behave. <clears throat> I'm so hungry. Like this, I've got to play the food in front of me. I just can't eat it. Okay, let's have a look now at uh, Unified Prefab Fleet by Lucky DGL. So, Lucky actually has quite a competent fleet here, for what it's worth. Um, we've got a laser torpedo bombardment assault Terran... I mean, not Terran. Farmer ship, I guess. Which, you know, reasonably simple. I feel like I've seen this in a tournament before. In fact, I'm pretty sure I have, but I don't know. This I've definitely seen in a tournament before. Um, so this is just, you know, missiles and lasers, nothing all too uh, insane, but, you know, it's got a reasonably decent building. Two v quite strong shields, it does survive a bit of punishment. Nice little crystal ship over here, you know, light, quite fast, actually, you'd be surprised. Um, little guns, it, it doesn't have a lot of firepower, but it, it, can, be, it can be useful um, when it manages. This Tinkerel ship is infuriating. It's a good sniper. It just says, hello, kapow, kablam. Thing is uh, annihilated from half a map away. It's pretty good when it when it manages to line up a shot. Um, but it's actually quite a nice, nice, nice sniper ship here. And it's quite, you know, quite reasonably well armored. It's using small shields rather than large shields, so that I count that against it, but, you know, it's, it's quite okay. I don't know about the amount of generators it has, though. I don't think it has enough. But should be fine. Again, I don't know. But, um, yeah, it's also quite fast. It's quite fast. Forward and back. Okay. So, let's, okay. Let's talk about the Sentinel ship. So, you'll notice that the Sentinel ship is missing some guns here, and it has some just random thrusters on the back. It's cause, uh, that's because Lucky's ship wasn't fast enough, and he didn't get back to me in time. So, in the end, about, like, three hours ago, I just took a ship and just pulled off guns until, like, he, until I could afford to give him enough thrust to go fast enough. So, uh, but this is a very kapow kind of ship. It's got a lot of it's got a lot of the the sentinel annihilator guns. Annihilators or obliterators? No, the annihilators. So these, very nice. It does quite a bit of damage when it uh, when it manages to connect. The problem is it's quite exposed. Although I'm pretty sure all of this is armor, so it's it's bloody tanky. But um, yeah. Okay. Um, ba -ba -ba. <clears throat> right, you little Terran boy. Two antimatters, four missiles, two shield generators. One medium shield, uh, one medium uh, power generator, and three burst lasers. Simple. Reasonably efficient. Thrust is on the outside. Thrust is actually covered by shields. Nice design. Nice design. Simple. Not, not, not a great looker. And this is definitely not a looker. This is just a box with some drones stuck inside of it. Uh, and a shield. It's a B-ship. Nothing much the same. Okay. If your reverse thrust isn't spelled gun, are you even tinkering correctly? <laughs> Very valid point. I too want to eat laps, says Exter. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm sorry. Okay, now, for an apps... I did talk about all of them, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. And of course, there's no red ship because the red ship, ship was massively over. Block allowances, so it just it got kicked out. It got vetoed. Not vetoed, it got banned. Banned? No, kicked. Kicked. Okay, 
So this is deja vu. I've just been in this place before. Higher on the streets, and I know it's my time it to go. But I do. But it. This fee is great. Very, very tough. Huge HP disparity between most of the. I mean, just. I don't need to say it, guys. We know who's tougher. We know who's got more health in this situation. Um. So Dukey here is. Uh, he's a nutcase. Um. <clears throat> but yeah, so he's got a very nice uh, Terran ship here. Kind of a light, you know, it's got some bombardment. It's not, not, not mainly, it's got a couple of heavy plasmas. So it can do some, it kind of, it mainly wants things to ram into it and kind of, you know, get shot up from there. Um, but this is, I mean, this B ship is the proper variant. It's got some nice quantum doom beams in there, it's got some nice teeth, chum chum. Uh, and it's got some shard launchers. Again, shard launchers! Who would have thought it? Who would have thought shard launchers? But it's great, it's nice. Okay. Um, again, love the ship designs. Very nice. Look at this. Square, blocky, square, blocky. Triangle, 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 triangle. Triangle, super, big thruster stacks. Mwah! Love it. Oh, pardon me. Pardon me. Okay. Then, this absolutely psychopathic tinkerel back here. This thing is silly. It goes flying. You'll see in a moment. This thing just goes. It doesn't care. Look at the amount of rate amplifier flyers it has. Look at them! <laughs> Again, I don't think it has enough power, but it seems to do an alright job. And uh, it's it's pretty much entirely covered by shields. The two nice big shield generators. So it's reasonably tough. It's reasonably tough. You know? I mean, the armor is just butter, but the shields are, are like decent steel. And it's got two drones just to be annoying, which is an interesting design choice. Okay, again, nice, you know, reasonably nice design. It's got thrusters on sticks. It's, 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 it's okay. Okay, B-ship, I've already mentioned this guy. I like the, I actually, I really like the color. The use of the, you know, the use of the B's coloring of the two different colored hull blocks to make something like this is very nice. Very nice. I like it. I like it. Looks very nice. Okay, this farmer ship, which is just a shield ball. Mwah. <laughs> Ah, love it. Simple. Simple, efficient, good old classic design, lots of missiles, a couple of station defense lasers, and some shotguns. Because? Uh, I don't know. I don't know why there's shotguns, but, you know, fear the, fear the farmer shield ball and its four shotguns at completely different parallel angles. Yeah, but it's, it's well shielded. It's quite tough. It's quite a tough little shield ball. And then this thing. Mm. Oh, yeah. That's a nice, that's just, oh, look at that insanity. Thruster insanity. So we've got some good uh, thruster balls here with some good external thrust. It's just a thruster ball with lots of drones and uh, quite a reasonable amount of point defense. So it does a good job. It does a good job. Okay. Then we have the um, crystalline. So, really simple. Lots of armor, three big guns. Easy. You know, classic. Nothing. It's not trying to be a bombardment ship. It's not trying to do crazy stuff. It's just ye oldie, come at me, bro, kind of situation. And it and the uh, um, the Terran ship very much working in the same way. They've got pretty much the same design profile, same gun system. And it's just one like little point defense gun. It's ridiculous. Um, and then his little um, Sentinel ship here, which has got a couple of gorse beams and a couple of annihilators and some spaced armor. Nothing much to talk about. Simple. Uh, quite tough. I'm not sure if this is armor or not. I think this is all armor. Can't remember. Much like Lucky, I'm pretty sure it's just all armor. Madness. Okay, is that it? Didn't forget anything. Okay, let's go for it. Yeah, you see, the Tinkerel goes flying. Oh, nice. And the Tinkerel doesn't generally get into range correctly, but it's okay. Lucky's Tinkerel actually does a pretty good job because it has quite a lot of range. Yeah, you see. Gua, nice hit, nice hit. Alright, well, Lucky's taking a lot of hits. Trust me, his red would not have helped him in this situation. I actually saw this exact fight before, and uh, the red doesn't help. <laughs> the red, the 2000 block red ship with primarily blasters and phases does not help much. The problem is the, the HP disparity in range. These big tank brawlers just kill it, which is unfortunate. Um, but yeah, Lucky, you know what? Nice little fleet, nice little fleet, simple design principles. Quite quite good at fleet, but unfortunately, I think you've been in this place before. Um, oh, that was a nice shot on that red. Oh, painful. 
Actually, lucky I'm surprised you're um. Oh, <gasps> what a clip! What a clip! What a clip of a torpedo shot! <laughs> Oh, Lord. Look at it bounce, just flying all around the place. That's, oh. Yeah, I know, these Duke has sent in some ships that are very difficult to defeat because of HP disparity. Which is why I was thinking about having the two separate um, categories. <laughs> no, Xterp, don't eat me. <laughs> you always put in the comma. Always put in the comma. Okay, Lucky, you got one ship. The thing is, okay, if Lucky can take out the ships that can kill him which are the two little fast ships oh no no goodbye lucky oh lucky oh lucky you got a b ship on you oh lucky no <laughs> <laughs> oh lucky. <laughs> i forgot about the b ship <laughs> oh i forgot about the b ship that was great <laughs> i'm sorry i need a moment just give me a moment <laughs> it was just that was perfect. <laughs> oh, that was great. That was amazing. That's exactly how a B ship should work. Oh. <sighs> that was amazing. I love that. That was fantastic. I really wasn't expecting that. That was amazing. Great job. Okay. Sample versus Joyous. Let's go. Just gone. Absolutely. Pac Man. My god, that B. Yeah, that B ship was insane. Okay, let's see how Simple and Joyous do. Again, reasonably equal HP disparity wise, like they've both got a lot of health in their face. Uh, HP density wise. HP disparity is the difference between two uh, two fleets' HPs, and HP density is how dense one fleet is in HP. Okay, great. Now that I've hopefully got. Oh, Joyous. Shame. Yeah, you see. I mean, Sentinel, uh, t Crystal are the go to brawlers. They really do a good job. Sentinel, unfortunately, just. They don't fire fast enough, you know? Sentinel just don't fire fast enough. Um, they can do a decent job, but at this moment, Sentinel's dead. Pop! Gone. Unfortunately. Poor old, uh, poor old Joyce. Joyce, you got one ship left and it's your farmer vessel. <laughs> yeah. 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 Look at these. Oh, I love. Okay. I love the shard shooter. Shards away, Captain! We'll shard them to death, me lads! We'll shard them all day! It does an okay amount of. Ooh, thruster's gone. Oh, that's not really worth. Oh! <laughs> took, a uh, took a torpedo falling in its face! <laughs> Blessed to be on the other hemisphere from Duke, <laughs> says Splinter. <laughs> Debris, consider, condense, consume. Indeed. I don't want to have to fight Duke. No, Mons, no one does. No one wants to fight Duke. No one wants to... Yeah, yeah, Sample, then. B thing actually works, and it works very well. Yes, Al, it's a zap gun. Slowly catching up on chat. Okay, while these two fight, since we've seen them before... <gasps> Race! Yes, Red! Yes! I mean, no. I want bees to win. Damn it. <laughs> actually, never mind. Eh? We have a B. We have a B for us in um, Duke's fleet. So... I actually get to feel good today. Shame. Wait, who just went out? Who just went out? I, wow, my, I've got a five-second memory. Um, shame. Whoever just went out, I'm sorry. <laughs> I couldn't remember who it was. <laughs> this is very bad. This guy's, I was thinking of my food. I'm sorry. I'm thinking about my stomach. Uh, this is Joyce and Lyoff. We've seen it before, so let's go for it. Okay. This is going to be difficult because they're both kind of oddly colored. Not oddly colored. Actually, no. Sorry. Lyoff is like blue and black, so it should be easy enough. But, um, it should be fine. I love Lyle's B ship. That thing is crazy. Okay, it's not crazy. It's not as crazy as Duke's B ship. <laughs> but, uh, it, it goes pretty well. This thing is. Just, it flies. It's very nice. I just like the way it kind of dances around the battlefield. Shame, Lyle. Come on, Lyle. Come on. Come on, Lyle. Come on. 5 7 versus 6 7. Okay, 5 versus 6. It's just not be insane. Shards! <laughs> yes, Al. Shards! Shards! <laughs> it's not shooting shards now. Oh, it's the other way around. Right? No. Interesting. Okay, I'm going to put this on auto while I have some food.
Ah, oh, okay, that's very nice. All right, one with the joyous. One with the joyous. Nice fight, nice fight, actually. Do a lot of flying around. Craziness. You see, it's reasonably equal. I'm actually, I mean, anyway. But basically, Fly Off has a nice HP density. Joyce has a nice HP density. Both of them have a oh, happy. <laughs> I love that B. Um, zoom. Um, they both got a reasonably decent amount of firepower, so they actually end up having quite a nice fight. Look at that fight. Oh, Lyolf. Lyolf's taking it now. Hmm. 5 7 7 7. Well, okay, 5 versus 7. I'm such a nutcase. Shame Owl. <laughs> yeah. I mean, listen, there's a reason I have to put a block limit, otherwise, we're gonna have Titans and crazy stuff. I would make it less, but the thing is, the difference between a Brawler and a Kaita is actually still quite fun to play around with. Like, these these heavy Brawlers will lose against these little drone Kaitas, because the drone Kaitas just whittled them down. So it's nice to have a bit of a of a block difference. I'm not going to be like, oh, you've got a 500 block limit, because that's, that's madness. I mean, Red, Red don't have scale 2 blocks, or scale 3 blocks, so they're kind of screwed. Um... When you build for a tournament that has kind of like a block limit and things like that, it's it's interesting to it's useful interesting it's useful to approach it a bit like a hull list tournament. If you, any of you remember my old hull list tournaments, where basically you only build with with the, with the materials you can, with the the modules you can, um, and then you add on hull later, and that kind of means that you sort of end up getting a nice HP density. I don't know. I mean, not necessarily true at all, but. With reds, it's kind of the case, because with reds, you just don't have much to space out things with. Yeah, just numb the hell out of it. <laughs> oh, I love it. Yeah, it is. <laughs> uh, yeah, Duke's B ship is very, very fast. Very, very fast. Okay, Lyolf, nice, nice Lyolf. Got a win. Well done. Okay, like I said, reasonably equal. Okay, I'm gonna have some more food while these guys have a great fight. It's a nice, this is a nice fight. Oh, it's very nice. Okay. See what I mean? Lovely fight. Look at this. Very nice and equal. Very nice and equal. Having a good slug fest. <laughs> uh, also, yes, I apologize for the YouTube uh, chat systems. Um, what's the word? Um, not verbose. Opposite of verbose. Not 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 ver not verbose at all. Verbose is completely the wrong word. I mean, um, whatever, whatever the word is for it being uh, hyperactive. Okay, poor old poor old Lyolf. Tide the tides of war changed, Lyolf. Oh, Lyolf. Well, GG, Lyolf. But you know what? You had a nice fleet, Lyolf, and it actually lo it looks nice. It fought very nicely. It was just a nice fleet. Okay. Oof, pardon me. Oh, okay. Right, well, uh, Mons, I I don't want to say say your prayers, but say your prayers, Mons, because this is going to be a very interesting fight. Um, <laughs> uh, so this is Mons Pubis' Unificatorium. Yeah, as the Unificatorium approaches. Uh, it has thrown down the gauntlet with Duke's <laughs> 
Let me look at this thing's thrust composite. Oh, yeah, no, it has. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. That's that's yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> we'll leave Duke's fleet off in the corner there. This is Monza's fleet. Very nice fleet. Again, based on the Monzian uh, Star Destroyer triangle kind of design, with a little bit of extra rectangle here in the middle. Um, this is a very torpedo-heavy vessel. Missiles and torpe uh, me the torpedo. Torpedo-heavy. Very missile-heavy vessel. It's got torpedoes and it's got the little tracking missiles. Very nice. Um, although this it might actually do pretty well here because it should be able to get some good torpedo hits off um, against most of these big ships. Okay. So we've got this, nice, you know, simple design, not much to say. Good. Okay. Little red ship. Really nice. Very simple. I feel like I've seen it before somewhere, but I can't quite place it. Big in generator bags on the inside. Lots of drones. Lots of um, defense lasers. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. Okay. Um, and as you see, huge just drone swarm goes. Um, then we have the former shield bubble. <laughs> Again, missiles. Pure bombardment. Absolutely just bombardment. It has no other purpose except just spamming missiles. Oh. <coughs> uh, sorry. Okay. <coughs> okay. <sighs> no, no other purpose except just spamming missiles. And it's absolutely crazy. And it's quite fast. And it's quite tough as well because that shield which does a good job for it. Then we have a nice sentinel ship. Good Monzian designs, um, differently located gun uh, batteries. It actually works quite nicely. That's quite nicely. Uh, not much to say. Reasonably fast. Okay, crystal ship. It's just bombardment, guys. Uh, this is yeah, just it's just missiles, just pure missiles with like two big plasma condensers. But in reality, this is the main firepower. And it's just a big block. And once again, I feel like I've seen this before. I think I've seen this before somewhere. It's a good ship. It's a good ship. Again, same kind of Penrose craziness. Basically, when you can't figure out how to Penrose, turn Penrose into lines, <laughs> then you'll be happy. <laughs> okay. Then Monza's little Tinkerel ship, which has a very conservative amount of, of damage amplifiers and, and velocity amplifiers. Very cheap little thing. Actually quite nice. One little shield. Got a nice little bit of a hull around it. You know, quite maneuverable. Good, good amount of like accuracy kind of when it manages. Um, nice little ship. Nice. Not much to say. Good. Okay. B shield bubble drones. Easy. Done. Very nice little facial. Very, very nice. I just like shield. I, like, I don't know why I like shield bubbles. There's something aesthetically pleasing about them. And then this is Duke's fleet. We already know. We've, we've seen the before. The absolute nutcase. Let's go for it. Okay. Well... <laughs> Okay, well, Dukes has lost his most powerful weapon. He dove right into Monza's torpedoes. What is happening, Duke? What is going on? Why? Okay. Hmm. This is interesting. <laughs> oh, and now to lose to Duke. Poor old Mons. Violently aggressive. Yeah, smooth one. Bad word, mommy. Yeah, yeah, I'm now poor old uh, YouTube comment uh, uh, post sanitizer. Well, you know, I mean, it's doing its job, I guess. It's a double letter sanitizer. Oh, Duke is here. Of course, Duke is here. Why have I? Why did I forget Duke is here? <laughs> Look, he f f forgot the diagonal. <laughs> oh shucks. Oh mons. Oh mons. Monsi, 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 ah, Monsi, why, why, Monsi, Mama, Mom, Duke Slayer's bullying us again. <laughs> Look at that, he's playing with his food. One of his ship pushes it while the other one opens fire on it. It's great. I love it. Duki Nuki Flexi with that tinky ziggy zaggy. Uh, Hellaps, could you zoom in on Duke's Terran's torpedoes? Duke's Terran's torpedoes. Uh, here we go. Oh, what the hell? What is this? Duke, what? What is... Is that like a one degree offset? What is wrong with you, Duke? Why are you an absolute psychopath? 
I love it. That's great. So it basically means that after a certain point, they begin to diverge a little bit, which is quite a good idea. We're close to killing dim stars. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, that's interesting. That's interesting. Interesting choice. Interesting cho what, what is this? Hold on. No, no, no. Hold on. Hold on now. What? Is that... Duke. Duke, is that a decoupler for your big plasma gun? What are you doing? <laughs> why is this the case? Why is this the case, Duke? Duke, why? Okay, let's just go on. Oh, wait. Duke's already lost one ship. Oh, that's good. That's good. He's lost his... his Oh, he's going to lose that B. Yeah, nice ones. You see, nice little just frontal torpedo gun. Going to get obliterated. Mons? Run, Mons! Go, Mons! Go on, Mons! 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 <laughs> His gun didn't have enough recoil. <laughs> this is tragic. Oh, an AI trigger. Oh, what, so that he, dis he disengages after he's taken enough damage. I see, I see. Clever, clever, clever little engineer. Clever little engineer. We'll make him pay for that. <laughs> oh, sucks. Okay, Mons is unfort... Well, hey, Mons, Mons, you got him. Mons, you got the crystal. You have hope, Mons. You have hope. Mons has two ships left, and that's actually the two pretty heavy ships that can actually do damage... Okay, this is very interesting. Mons, your captains... Okay, Mons, you need to fire your captains. They're making very interesting decisions. Uh, <laughs> oh, Mons! Come on, Mons! Come on, Mons! You've got to get him! Come on, Mons! Duke needs to just be taken down. One round! One round, Mons! Come on! Come on, Mons! Oh, wait. Oh, Crystal might get the raid. Yeah, Crystal got the raid! Nice! Okay! Okay, Mons, we got hope! We got hope! We got her bonds. His other ship is still alive. Oh, not for long. Not for long. Okay, board him time though. Board him time. <laughs> Flank bombardment. Get him. Yes, yes to run. You better run. You better run, boy. You better. Oh no. Oh no, Monzi. Monzi boy. Okay, that's fine actually. Monzi has got. Ooh, ooh, the Tinker is still alive. Ah, time ran out. Ah. Monzi boy. Monzi boy. Okay, so now we have Mons versus uh, the Unificatorium versus the Unified Prefab Fleet. There's a bit of an HP disparity issue here. So, guys, in a fleet, fundamentally... You always need a few things. Number one, you need some heavy tanking ships. You need some ships with high HP density. Second off, you need some ships that are reasonably maneuverable and can do, do some kiting support stuff. Because you see, look at this. Look at See, Lucky, this is your Tinkerel actually doing its job nicely. When it sits away and it just goes... Brrrr. Actually, that's really not... <laughs> it flew through that torpedo salvo. Took the whole side off. Ooh, Lucky. Oh, Lucky. Shame, Lucky. Yeah, Lucky, you just need more HP. You need some more health on those, on those, uh, especially this, um, crystal ship. Like, seriously, you can just put, just have health. You need health. You need health. Health is, like, not a joke. Like, building small ships is okay, but in the end, you need some, you need some nice big, uh, HP disparity vessels. Oh, Lucky. Getting cleaned up, buddy. Shame. I mean, ooh. Okay, well, it, it's the the brother to the Tinkrell vessel is uh, to the the brother to Monza's uh, Terran vessel, the Sentinel vessel. Now he said, "All right, bro, it's your turn." And the other Sentinel vessel went, "All right, I'm gonna go off." Ran off. All right, lucky, just just outlast them, lucky. <laughs> it's not possible for you to win, lucky, but claim the moral victory by being a runner. Just survive them. Oh, look at this. Just look at the stuff all behind him. Oh, lucky. Luxter, Luxter, Luxter. Oh, he's gone. Yeah, he's gone. He's gone. You need help. Indeed. Oh, 
Okay. Ooh, nice. Oh, no. Ah, uh, uh, oh, joyous. 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 I thought your bee ship was about to smash your Tinkerel vessel into Monster Sentinel. That was about to be very bad. Okay, this is going to be a nice little fight. I think these two are going to have an interesting fight because they've got a, again, HP density on a reasonably equal footing. It's quite a low HP disparity and they both got quite a significant amount of DPS. So, um, it should be fun. It should be a nice fight. I'm going to have some more food because I'm, again, hungry. And GG Mons. Shay Mons out of the game, man. And a very nice fleet. Again, fought very nicely. It, it felt it was quite a... I felt it was quite a balanced fleet, actually. I think it was quite a nicely balanced fleet. Had some good strengths. Had some nice torpedoes. Good health. Some maneuverable support vessels. They were good kiters. Did a nice little job every now and then. And, uh, yeah, it was, it was a nice fleet. Shame. Oh, also, and Lucky. Also, shame Lucky as well. For, for you know, Lucky's also completely out of it. Okay. All right. Now we have the people I've been waiting for. <laughs> oh, sorry. I got an itchy eye. Ah. Scratch my eye. There you go. De Bricks. The man, the myth, the legend. De Bricks. West Coast Products by De Bricks. So, Debris and um, Imperiex came together and built this. This insane fleet. And it's quite nice. It's actually a really nice little fleet. Um, I don't know. I don't know how they collaborated on this. I don't know what percentage was who or, or what was what. So I'm quite in the dark here. All I know is they collaborated, and it's quite a nice fleet. So um, let's just go through it, shall we? I'm, I feel inclined to go to this massive brown. Well, not really brown. It's kind of like a darky, ready kind of a, an orangey kind of thing. Like, I mean, I guess it's brown, fine, but it's more like a. Slightly more orange. Eh, I don't know. Let's call it brown. Whatever. Brown with green. Very nice. You know. Dirt and grass. Lovely. Okay. Missiles. Missiles and a massive central thing of just crystal plasma condensers. This thing hurts a lot and it has a lot of HP. It's got a lot of space. 
And actually, surprisingly, it's got a lot of thrust. It moves quite quickly. Um, then we have our good old red ship, which is, again, this is how you build a red ship. Guns, no hull, thrusters, generators, some laser defense, claw. Nothing insane, nothing ridiculous. <laughs> and it's nicely engineered too. It has a very nice look to it. I like the, the circles and everything. It's very appealing, very appealing. Just a bright white with some orange, some uh, browny uh, thrusters there. Very nice, very nice. Okay. Then we have our Tinkerel over here. Now this Tinkerel, I f again, I have deja vu when I look at this vessel because I feel like I've seen it somewhere before. It's got a main, massive main gun with, frankly, I don't think enough power generation, but whatever. Um, and it's got quite a, lot of, quite a lot of thrust. It's very maneuverable. And it's got two heavy shields. Which is, it's actually quite nice. But, you'll notice on key, it lacks any point defense in any way, shape, or form. Which makes it very vulnerable to um, drone ships, among other things. But, um, it, it, it does its job when it manages to actually hone on targets. Look at this. Massive range, huge damage, ridiculous velocity. Insufficient power generation, I think. Anyway. Okay. Uh, then we have this... I can't even tell what this is. <laughs> it's a farmer ship, I think. <laughs> no, no, it's Sentinel. Sorry, it's Sentinel. There, yeah, I saw a, a gun. So this is a Sentinel uh, thruster ball, which is good. I can't really say much about it. Then we have bees. Again, shards. De bricks. Uh, Duke, your mod must be working because people are using shards. No one uses bee shards. No one. No one does that. Not in the normal game, anyway. So it's got shards, and it's got a nice little kind of a pincer grip of doom beams. <sighs> Pardon me. So it should actually do pretty well, and this is just a single anchor drone. I don't know if that's enough to do anything. <laughs> De bricks. I don't know if that's enough to do anything, I'm sorry to say. Um, Imperiax says brick color. Oh, is this brick color? Oh, fair enough. Brick color. Okay, brick color. Let's call it brick color. Absolutely. Then we have a big former point defense ship it's just got a lot of these point defense lasers uh and two shotguns just because i i don't know how this thing is supposed to win a fight but okay then um it's definitely interesting it's got a nice amount of hull pretty fast pretty fast actually for a farmer ship it's pretty fast um so yeah and then this thing this terran ship which is, looks really nice by the way black white very clean, looks well not clean, it's very difficult to look at, but in the sense of you know, clean colours. Um, torpedoes and missiles and antimatters. It's a it's an anti heavy cracker. Um, and it's got uh, you know straight fire missiles, which is pretty nice. Uh, anything else? I don't think there's anything important there. Okay, let's get to Splinter. He's got very nice oh look at this ship. Exactly. But he's he has a very nice fleet. Look at this nice ship. Oh I just like the smooth design of it. Very elegant. Very, I don't know, kind of. I don't have a nice word for it. Anyway, it's a nice ship. It's a B ship. It's got quantum doom beams, a lot of speed, two shields, and uh, it's good. It's quite good. I mean, it's not, it's not a, it's not, you know, it's it's just good. It's it's it's, it's a, you know, it's a kiter killer basically. When it decides to do its job, it's you know, it's quite effective in its in its niche. Then we have another red vessel, very much like this. Again. A correctly engineered red vessel with just tempests. <laughs> tempests, some point defense lasers, a single blaster. I feel like there's shenanigans going on here, but anyway. Um, and it's you know, it's fast enough. So actually, very nice. Good. Then we have... Um, ba -ba -ba. Yeah, let's do this. Okay, we've got our farmer vessel, which... Splinter, what is this? It's insanity. I love it. Looks really nice. Looks really nice. Um, I just I just like the use of the hexagons and the and the and the, and the square rectangle things. Um, just makes a very appealing shape, very appealing pattern, pattern, not shape, pattern. But I don't know how this is supposed to. I mean, it does have. A, I guess they just don't look like a lot. I, I guess the missiles just don't look like a lot from this distance. But um, there must be must be. I mean, actually, look here. no, never mind. There's actually enough missiles. <laughs> this is actually quite a reasonably decent missile shooter. Um, and I love the pattern of the missiles coming out. Look at that. Very nice. Um, and then, you know, got some shields, lasers, 
Uh, defense lasers, shields, and quite fast. It's a good ship. It looks nice. Another single gun, super range, energy inefficient because there's velocity amplifiers at the front. Um, a tinkle ship, which has an incredible tactical advantage in that you cannot tell what's inside of it. You have no clue. Absolutely ridiculous. Uh, very maneuverable. Looks nice. I can't really say much else. It has two shields. You know, that's obvious, I guess, but bears, bears stating. Otherwise, I can't see. <laughs> it's just, I can't see. Okay. Sentinel. Lovely. Look at that. Very nice. Very nice simple pattern. Lots of armor. Big anti uh, uh, annihilators and lots of heavily armored thrust. Pretty good ship. Nothing much else to say. Pretty good. And then this thing. I love this thing. I like this Terran ship. It has a very nice armor, slanted design with all the like big cargo containers. It just looks nice. It looks nice. The big asteroid thrusters. I don't know why I zoomed in. That's obvious, but whatever. A uh, lot of burst lasers. A lot of burst lasers. I don't think I've seen this many burst lasers on the other ships. But it's burst lasers and drones. And that's like the complement. Which is like, well, okay. It looks like it should be a rammer, but it isn't. Which is like... I don't know. It, it makes me feel strange. I, I don't know how I feel about it. It's like, well, shouldn't there be, like, I don't know, some sort of heavy guns? <laughs> Whatever. It doesn't matter. Okay, then we have our crystal, which is just... It's just a crystal bombarder. It's just pure bombardment. And that's all it needs to be. All it needs to be. Good. Okay, well, gentlemen, let's go. Also, I think I realize now, hold on, that the music turned off. Wow. That's tragic. Hold on. There we go. I'm sorry. That's been off for a very long time. There you go. Let's have some proper, proper reassembly music. Let's unpause. Auto, while I have my food. <laughs> my food's nearly done yet. Then I'll talk for everything. But, um... I mean, this doesn't need much explanation. It's just fun to watch. Oh! 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 just goes spinning. Oh, okay, maybe I will just talk about this one, because this is actually quite fun. You see, it's a... Like I said, that ship looked like it wanted to do brawling. But it's a... Like a drone ship. It's, it's an interesting decision. This little tinker's just going flying. Oh. Where's the other tank? Is it data ready or not? Oh no, what? Hmm. Splinter's only got three ships left. <laughs> Energy calculation, too much work. I copied my Sentinel from the Hex Friends Tourney. Should be asteroid free. Good red ship is made of gun, indeed. Splinterman patterns. Those asteroid blocks are they unlocked in campaign? Oh, Mons, you're right. Are asteroid blocks unlocked in campaign? <laughs> Pure bombardment. Ooh, first one goes to debris. Yeah, yeah, debris takes it. Come on, Splinter, let's try again. <laughs> Splinter, Splinter, I don't think your B ship is helping anyone at this present moment. <laughs> Ooh, debris. Your B ship is having some nice shots there. Very nice. Oh. Oh, Splinter. Okay, I'm just gonna let the handle. Camera handle this. Oh, good night, Mons. Good night. Go well. Farewell, farewell. God bless. Go well. And uh, hopefully, see you tomorrow. Later. Hopefully, you'll watch this and. Oh, wait, Mons is already lost. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I forgot about that. Cheers, Mons. Go well. Oh yes, apologies to anyone who gets chat blocked by the bot. Well, actually, Sample's here. Sample can unblock anyone that gets chat blocked by the bot. Because the bot goes crazy. Okay, I'm going to have some food. Actually, I probably shouldn't while Splinter has one ship left. Splinter! No Splinter! Get out of there! Yes! Nice dodge. Nice dodge, Splinter. Nice dodge. Okay, Splinter, you've got 50 seconds. How are you going to win this? How are you going to win this, champ? How's it going to happen? You've got a lot of range. Firepower might not have enough power, but uh, you know, we'll see. Good chiseling shots, chiseling shots, very nice, very nice. Da -da 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 -da. Da -da 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 -da. Ooh. 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 
<laughs> well, I mean, that survived a lot longer than it should have Splint. Shame, man. Okay, Splint's into the losing bracket. Well done, Debricks. Well done, Debricks. Okay. So, People Federation by I Am Bomb and Owl's Oddities. Uh, is there any question? There's a, there a question in the chat I saw just now that I wanted to answer. I don't know what it is. Oh, yeah. Question, is the game being updated or is it now mods and mods? Um, no, the game's complete. I mean, okay, complete in air quotes. There's, uh, there's bugs, but we, we'll let Bugnonymous worry about that. But the ba I mean, the game is complete. Yeah. I mean, constant updates only make for, only are only really useful for games where you're still getting a lot of players constantly. I mean, Reassembly's pretty much sold its sold its um, sold its bulk. You know, it still gets people that buy it, but it's not really worth Arthur continuing to do major updates when he should go probably go work on another title to you know get paid more with. You know, that, that, there's a point at which continuing development of a game doesn't make sense because you're not making as much enough money to actually be sustainable in that system. And at that point, you just have to move on. Also, he has a son, and he's got a son, and he's got other stuff to do, and whatever else. So, hopefully, we'll get a little update one day. I don't know. I mean, we're still, we're still making him money, so hopefully, he still gets motivated. But anyway, so this is uh, People Federation by Iron Bob. Iron Bob is an interesting little fleet. Very, unfortunately, again, very low HP density. Not very tough. But he's against our oddities, so he might have a chance. Um. So. Okay, I am Bob. First things first. <laughs> this little ship here is annoying me. Not because it's a bad ship, but because it's kind of not an efficient ship. So, this ship has a couple of problems. Number one, it's got three main guns, okay? Which sounds nice in theory, but the problem is you could rather have one main gun, which is nice and strong, and then build the rest of the ship around it to be accurate and effective. Or you could do this. Now, the problem with this is that you have three guns, which are only going to do like one third of the work of any one gun, and uh, there's, there's a couple of other issues with this. Um, but it's fine. You know, it's a nice little simple ship, a little thruster shield ball, um, and it's an, a nice idea. But less guns. Less guns generally work better, uh, and then put more points instead into power generation, shields, point defense, and maneuverability. And that actually generally makes a very nice tinkle ship. Um, but you know, fun. It's fun. If listen, if this thing had enough power, it could just fire all three guns in all directions and kill everything. But I don't think it has enough power at all. Uh, okay, then is this corrupted? Oh, it's corrupted. Oh wow. Funky. Shame, man, Bob. Okay. Well, um. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I, I don't think it'll. I don't think that'll matter, matter all too much. Anyway, this is a B ship. It's got one of doom beams. It's got some thrusters, uh, and it's got uh, some, some thrusters. <laughs> what am I saying? It's got some heavy drone launchers, which is pretty nice. Uh, then we've got this Terran antimatter bombardment ship. With lots of missiles, big antimatters, uh, a bit of point defense, some flak guns. Quite nice and quite maneuverable. Quite maneuverable. Cool. Then we have a nice, very, very low armor Sentinel ship. Very fast. Lots of guns. And some missiles. Quite a nice little vessel. Heavily armored. Well, for its size. Um, okay. Then we have a red ship. Which is just... I mean... <laughs> what did I do? A red ship? A red ship? I was looking at this before I was even looking at this. This is ridiculous. We have a crystal ship, which is a very nice design. I actually like this. I actually really like this. The crystal with the internal buffered structure, with the little guns on the inside, little shield, uh, little generators, with the big spikes going out. It's very nice. I like it. Nicely done. Nicely done, Iron Bob. Very nice. The big guns on the outside, and these large chunks of armor. It's really nice. It does. I wish it had more armor. I wish it was like a more tankier uh, vessel. Because then it would do really nicely. Okay, red ship. Again, don't bother with armor. <laughs> just put more... Just put... Just have more Tempests. <laughs> or actually, yeah. I mean, the problem with red in this scenario is that the only actual decent use of red is as a support drone ship with heals. Because then it does quite well. Otherwise, it kind of gets annihilated. <laughs> which is tragic. I wish it could fill other roles. But I mean, the Tempest ships do do pretty good. They do pretty well. Give them enough speed, some Tempest. Hopefully they kill some Kiters. Because they can. They can do pretty simply. Anyway, nice little ship. It reminds me of one of my own ships. And huge amounts of drones. Just huge amounts of drones. 
very fast vessel as well. Okay, farmer bombardment ship. Done. Easy. Claw. Lots of speed. Very nice. Okay, owls oddities. So, owls come in with a fleet that's very un owl like. Very un owl like. This ship's color scheme reminds me of, of the Kalarians, which is like my the first like let's play that I did of reassembly with the Terrans. Very nice color scheme. I approve highly. Uh, this is just a torpedo heavy plasma with a lot of burst pulse point defense, which is a good idea, and a single proton sword with a shield. Interesting. I guess again point defense and close range defense. Okay. Tinkerel drone ship. Surprisingly enough, Tinkerel drone ship. Who'd have thought it? But Tinkerel drone ship. Quite nice. Um, nice, I have to say, nice little design. I like all the triangles. I like the use of the triangles. That's actually quite nice. You don't normally see that. You normally see just squares. But this is a nice use of the triangles. You can also get your thrusters at interesting angles. Very nice, very nice. A lot of power generation, gotta say. Red ship. This, okay, I don't need to say it anymore, but this is how you build a red ship. Just <laughs> tempests. <laughs> it's just tempests. Um, he, he is using flex thrusters, which I don't know if they actually work, but okay. He's using flex thrusters. A lot of point defense. Pretty nice. L nice red ship. Very non-standard. Because most people do... Uh, you know, the pre the ones we've seen before. Um, so it's fine. It's nice. And then this chick. I love this. This is very nice. I just... I just kind of like... Just the center bit. The rest isn't much... It's not much to be excited for. But the center bit is just a nice little composition. It's nice. It's just a nice composition. Nice, nicely done, Al. Might not be your... Might not be your normal work. But you know, it's okay enough. <laughs> Poor old owl. Uh, no, it's nice. I like it. Uh, doom beams in every direction. Thrust a ball. Very nice. Doesn't have any drones, which is an interesting choice for a bee vessel. Farmer ship. Hyper maneuverable shielded thruster ball. Nothing much to say. Pretty good. S uh, uh, crystalline ship. Crystalline? Crystalline. Again, highly maneuverable missile thruster ball. Nothing much to say. And a sentinel ship. It's a nuker. We're going to have great fun tonight, lads. Let's go. It fires that sentinel, the tinkerel. Tell you what, the nice thing, Iron Bob, about that tinkerel is that it does actually get a chance to fire in pretty much every direction. But the quality of the firepower is sort of more what's. Oh, oh, forget I said anything, Iron Bob. That's a great tinkerel. Never mind. Did good damage on one side. Just took it out. Oh, owl. Oh, owl. Yeah, but no, now that tank's taken too much damage. You see, its guns are just too exposed. One one or two missiles and the whole thing's gone. It's generally the problem with longer with tanks with longer guns. Is that they just get so easily disarmed. Because the problem is, once you run out of range modifiers, your gun is useless. It has no effect, regardless of how much damage you can do. <laughs> Maybe functional owl, shame. When Al has less time, he gets more competitive. Absolutely. <laughs> oh. I'm happy to have this one named after me. Lol. <laughs> like a mini DDoS drone kiter. Oh. There you go. One winter owl. Shame, Iron Bob. Shame. Come on, Iron. Come on. Yeah, Lyle. I agree. They do look quite nice. Oh, are the healing drones in there, Iron Bob? Well, that's, that's actually pretty good. They, sh they should actually... The thing is, healing drones don't always seem like they do a lot, but they do actually help a little bit. Like, some faster regen just isn't something to scoff at. Especially in a battle where regen is literally the, choice, the end point between life and death. But the thing is, regen is only helpful when you have more to regen. Having a lot of health means you have a lot of stuff to regen, Iron Bob. So, in the future, you know... Have some ships with higher HP density. Have more tougher ships. And then your heal healing drones become way more useful. <laughs> yeah, when you're zoomed out, the missiles do just start to look like just ants. It's great. Or bees. Probably bees, because they are flying around and like scurrying. Ooh, 3v3. This is getting interesting. I'm going to finish all my food, but still...
Okay. Alright, one went to uh nice iron bob. Nice! Go one buddy, go one. Let's see actually hold on. Yeah, it's still corrupted. No, it's that's a shame. It's a shame. Okay. Insane. Owl, this thing is in madness. I love it. It does kind of get obliterated, but, you know. <laughs> the core's just dumping around. Oh, the core. There it goes. <laughs> okay, 5v6. You see, HP density is reasonably equal in this in this matchup, so it becomes a nice equal fight. Because inevitably they have around about the same amount of firepower, but Hull, since Hull, the thing is, since Hull is free, people don't normally think to actually just use a lot of it. Especially since it makes you slower, but you, know, you only need as much as you need, you know. You, 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 they don't all need to be tanks. Battle for the ages! Yes, Debris, I agree. 2v5. Oh, no. Bob's lost this one. People Federation. Can the combined might of all the reassembly community people win? No! I actually can't remember which um, person this one is. Come on. Come on, little buddy. Just hang in there, Aya Bob. You have... I mean, you don't really have... I mean, yeah, if you run out the timer, you win kind of a moral victory. <laughs> Both our bees are terrible, says Al. Yeah, I agree. It sort of is why I have my Pac-Man bee. Yeah, Duke, I fully understand that. <laughs> oh. oh, shame. Well, sorry I am, Bob. Sorry, mate. But there you go. Oh, 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 Splinter! Just took a barrel of Tinkrell to the face. Oh, but again, Iron Bob, HP disparity is kind of your problem. Yeah, you need more health, buddy. You need more health. You aren't going to beat these. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Just took it out. Kablamo! <laughs> oh, that was a crystal ship with main, with main crystal guns. Actually, I don't get to talk. Ooh, he's gonna get caught by the yeah, he's gonna get caught by the Sentinel. Ooh. Iron Bob, if you win this if you win this, it'll be the comeback of, of the ages. Ah, the Tinkerel was very well distracting those uh bombardment chasers. It's good, it's good, it's good. Ooh, ooh, farmer, bye bye. Oh farmer. Oh, oh he's just out of rage! He's just out of rage! Never mind, he wasn't out of range. <laughs> 4v3. The problem is I don't see a way for Bob to kill Splinter's two heavies. He just doesn't have a lot of damage on the board. Oh yeah, that that this is this is an effective red splinter. You see, when a red is done well they are fast and deadly. They are not meant to be tanks in any way, shape or form. And they perform decently as support roles, but they're primarily just anti kiter which is quite funny to think. It's funny to think that each of the factions kind of fall into a nice role for themselves, to a degree. Yeah, Bob. Oh well, wait, who's got more points? Ah, oh, Splinter does. My black. 2,000. <laughs> Go on, Bob. Pull it back. Pull it back, Bob! Open fire, Bob. Get close. Come on, Bob. You can win it. Ah, oh, never mind. It's gone up by 25. Darn it. Yeah, no. I mean, if you want to be if you want to be kept up to date on tournaments, so I'm just going to pause this because I do want to watch it. This is very exciting. Um, but yeah, no. Uh, as Lyoff has said, you should check the reassembly Discord. There's quite a lot of tournaments that have been scheduled soon. He says, and he's absolutely correct. Uh, so no, if if you're watching this now and you're interested in reassembly, please join the Discord. So many people, lots of tournaments, lots of mods, good discussion, um, and yeah, I mean, we have fun. Twark! Oh, red! Face full of torpedoes. Oh, wiped off the face of the earth. Oh, oh Bob. The fates have not been kind. 
so to speak. Oh no, 4v4. 4-4. Okay. Points, you know, reasonably within range of each other. This is why I wanted to watch this. It's just... Oh, it's so blink intense. <laughs> it's just so close. Oh, it's 4-4. Four, four. Like, Bob actually has quite a good maneuverable fleet. The problem is... Yeah, he needs some tanks to... Just one, you know? Might improve his chances. I don't know. I honestly don't know. I don't know. I, I, I talk like I'm some sort of guru, but I got no bloody clue. And this little guy... This guy is doing good work until he loses his frontal guns. It's like the shields aren't even... Oh, no, the shields do perform a vital role. They keep the rest of the ship alive so he can reassemble. And reassemble he does, nice and quickly. He gets his gun back, opens fire. He's doing a good job, Bob. Doing, doing a good job. But again, yeah, you know, more points on thrust... Could it could have been really nice. Well, it is quite a nice ship. Once I own a copy of the game, I'll play it like there's no tomorrow. <laughs> I mean, I have got like okay, a lot of the time was spent modding, but I've got like a thousand eight hundred hours in reassembly or something stupid. Like saying that you know, it's like that's too much time. That's too much time to play a video game. You should probably go do something properly. You know, probably go do something actually <laughs> useful. Like I don't know. But, you know, I've, I've relaxed and I've enjoyed reassembly and I've done a lot of modding. And uh, Well, I used to. I don't do it much anymore because the problem is modding is rather um, skill-intensive. Foggy morning, splinter wins. Shame, Bob. Shame. You're out of the tournament. But, you know, a good try. A good try. Okay. Duke. <laughs> what happened there? Hold on, what happened there? <laughs> Duke, what is that? <laughs> the wood ship just evaporated. That was so funny. Okay. Okay, this is going to be a good fight. Because again, high HP density on both sides. So they should hopefully stand a chance to brawl with each other. They've got nice kaiter supports. So what does this ship have on it? It's got like one missile. It's all armor and missile. A very interesting decision. It's armor, missile, and thrust. <laughs> Just exactly what you need out of a, out of a distractor. It's a very high quality distractor. <laughs> Maps use those hours to play. Wow. <laughs> uh. Do you mean WoW was in World of Warcraft? You, Laps, use this hours to play World of Warcraft. Use this hours to play, comma, WoW. Grammar is important, guys. Grammar is important. Yeah. Okay. Oh, sorry, my mic's a little bit far from my mouth. Should be fine. Blair, whoever loses, I'll have to fight them, says Joyous. Yeah, Joyous, that's, that's how a bracket works, you know? <laughs> uh, shame Sample is... Sample's, Sample's losing. It's there to waste your time. Absolutely. And Sample is doing a good job. Absolutely doing a very good job. What a siren. <laughs> what is the ship named? I can't remember its name. Uh, ridiculous bloody thing. I'm sure it's performing its purpose. Admirably. Deja vu. I've just been in this place before. Ba -da 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 -da. Well... Dukey did lose some of his ships. Come on, Red. Yes, Red! That's how we do it. Good. Nice, Red. You see, Red just cuts through the tinkle like the scene like butter. There's a boom. Cheers, Iron Bob. Go well. Go well. Hope to see you soon. See you again soon. Lasers. Do you, what is with this like V formation gun? It's insane. How do you do that? I can't remember. <laughs> 
I guess it's because the right one fires, the left one fires, right one fires, left one fires. And because of that, you kind of get a vaguely straight shot, but it ends up causing a V. Yeah, okay, I understand how that happens on a micro level. Second by second. Oh, come on, Sample. Come on, Sample. Yeah, I know. Those, those Quantum Doom beams are doing too good of a job. Well, okay. Quantum Doom beams and, you know, the insane amount of missiles and everything else. Where's the core for the ship? It's right there! It's protected by one block. Ugh. Good fleet, Duke. Good fleet. Good fleet. Sumble, this distractor was a good idea. Um. Yeah. <laughs> but now it's... So, oh, I definitely meant World of Warcraft, the most productive activity ever. <laughs> yeah, something you have less health. Less health. Okay, we only have like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine more matches. Okay. Well, we've seen all these, so go for it. Sample. Sample slit <laughs> seven. <laughs> Against way. Shall we show Sample the way? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. Uh. Sample, you've made yourself a spinner. Look at that. This is going like a Boeing. Vum, 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 vum. <laughs> oh. Spin me around, run, baby, run, run, like a record player, run, 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 run. Like a record player, record player, like a record player. Come on, little buddy, come on. Regen, get your range back. Oh, hello. <laughs> Joyous, I still find this utterly ridiculous that you have these. Photon projectors. Plasma projectors. They're hilarious. There you go. <laughs> Pardon me. <laughs> Zap cannon. Going like a Boeing debris. Yeah, laps 2021. Going like a Boeing and um, pure bombardment. That's my two phrases. I don't know, if, listen, there's only so many ways to say things. <laughs> well, not, okay, well, that's completely wrong. Um, that's, not, that's not true at all. But, uh, nonetheless, that's how I feel. That's <laughs> how I feel. That's <laughs> how I feel, so it must be true. <laughs> Feelings are everything. Ooh, ooh, farmer. Those shields barely keeping him alive. Nice, Sumble. Nice, nice, nice. Come on, way. Come on, we. Your no 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 laps twenty twenty one. It's twenty twenty one, guys. Uh, it's twenty twenty one. I'm old. <laughs> it's like we're all old. We we first were here. We were like little little children on the internet. And now it's twenty twenty one. You're supposed to have. Where's the flying cars? I guess we have some vague sorts of AI, so we're not doing bad for ourselves, but, you know. Are there modded, modded tournaments? Yeah, there are. I don't run modded tournaments primarily because um, the amount of the amount of entries you get is less, generally speaking, when you do modded tournaments. That's not the sole reason. The sole reason is just that... Um, yeah, mods are, mods are interesting. I don't want to say that the vanilla game is balanced, um, but everyone knows the vanilla game. There's a very familiar meta. People understand how to fight things and can do some pretty good testing. There's like there's a lot of vehicles and vehicles. There's a lot of ships and prior tournament entries. Come on, Joyce. Oh, Joyce. Time's up for you, Joyce. It was a nice fleet. It's a very nice fleet. I like the fleet, Joyce. It was very cool. Good job. We got. Uh, Showing the way, didn't it? Oh, 
Ooh, hoo, hoo, that red. Uh, those reds, man, they are, bl they are savage. <laughs> Sheesh, Al, your tanker all survived a few anti-matter shots. <laughs> I joined the reassembly discord in the year 1974. Yeah, well, it feels like 1974, man. It's a long time ago. The discord's, I mean, discord has been around for like f six years or something stupid. And the reassembly discord has been around for a while. We remember back before we had a Discord for reassembly, guys. Oh, guys, remember back when there was no modding. <laughs> remember when modding wasn't actually a thing, when there was no way to mod. Ooh, the bricks, nice. That be that debris. That B thing is doing good work for you. I mean, um, owl, not debris. Wow. I'm sorry. <clears throat> Owl, that thing is doing good work for you. But the bricks is brick ship is doing good. Red are so RNG. They are. They are really are really RNG. But when the RNG goes your direction, they turn the tide of battle. It's hilarious. Owl, you have one ship left and it's a nuke ship. How's this gonna work? Well, potentially really well. <laughs> Those tinkerel beams. Oh, I was about to say I'm missing you so narrowly, but it got a good shot. Oh, 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 owl, owl, owl. <laughs> owl, the brick maker is catching up to you, owl. Your brick license has been re refunded. Um, terminated. Yeah. There's three ages, beta forum and Discord errors. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Owl's Oddities versus Splinter. That's interesting. Very interesting. Okay, my voice is a bit sore and I'm a bit tired now. <laughs> so... <sighs> <laughs> Splinter's like, oh well. Yeah, yeah, Splinter, it's your turn. Yeah, I'm a bit tired, so um, my apologies if I just uh, don't talk as much. And my throat's a bit sore, so. I mean, it's about to be nine o'clock. This has been going for about two hours now, which is why I'm glad we only got eleven participants. <laughs> Otherwise, it would go on for ages. But you are. But you are. Ooh, the red was tractoring for a few moments there. That's quite exciting. Unfortunately, it made the face of a tinkerel. <laughs> a very good tinkerel. Yeah, all this time you read was you read was working for a few moments. <laughs> uh, oh, there goes Owl's uh, Terran right into the fray. Yeah, Owl's Terran got a kill. Nice. Four versus one. Owl's gonna get this one. Ooh, Splinter, you're in a tough situation. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I keep yawning. I'm just exhausted. It's been a long day. Oh, it's been a long few days, I guess. I think it's actually this music that's putting me to sleep. Hold on. Hold on. Come on. Give me something exciting. There we 
we go. Yeah. This is Spectral Warfare. Which, uh... It's a nice name. Nice name for a track. Not bad. Not at all. What time accelerator? Ooh, sorry, I clicked out of the game. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, Zygorg, I, we can change time in here. We can. We can make it slow. We can make it faster. But I don't make stuff faster. I don't. I just sit here and play. I've got, I've got time. So, I've got time. We want to see the fight in its totality, and the fight's fun. So, you know, there's no point skipping through it. These people made nice fleets, and we want to see how they work. So, yeah. Okay. Oh, Sumple. Well, Sumple, you're getting up a hand this time, I think. Oh, 3v4. <laughs> Lab's turning out the lights. <laughs> um. Hold on. Splinter, you're a mod. Please take over for Mons <laughs> in dealing with the bot. Okay. It's a 1 1 match, I have to say. Exciting. Pull out some of the perihelion track at 10.03. Hold on. It allows cycles. Perihelion? You want perihelion next? Okay. There's not a bot splinter, no. This is just YouTube's default um, chat cleaning bot. Well, there we go, splinter. You lost. Shame, man. Very nice looking fleet. Very worked very nicely. I liked it. I liked it. But unfortunately, it's time is here and gone. It's time is here, is here and gone. Okay. All right, Sample versus Owl. <laughs> this is going to be very interesting. Yeah. Damn red carry. <laughs> I know, right? Poor old Splinter. <laughs> Ooh, Owl. Yeah. Yeah, no, red carry. Red carry! Red carry! Red carry! Red carry! <laughs> A red carry! He got three of them! He got three of them! <laughs> uh, oh, red is so random and so powerful, but so weak. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Where's Perihelion? Perihelion. Let's put it out. Oh yeah, here we go. Okay. Alright. Okay, let's get some Perihelion going. <laughs> but then escape velocity, lol. <laughs> Absolutely. Ugh, again. Silly thing. Maps lost it. Yeah, it did. Oh, Sample Chrome, you got so wrecked by those by those reds, by Owl's red. That was ridiculous. That was unbelievable. That's my that's my favorite moment so far. That and Duke's um, B B grabber. Oh, yeah. Sample's only got his his uh, distractor left, and his little like six drone. Guy. It doesn't do much, unfortunately. Yeah, it, it only has like six drone launches. It doesn't really have an opportunity to do very much. OK. 
Okay, let's see if this raid is going to do it again. If it takes out the distractor, then I think Supple Crumb's just going to have an interesting time. It took out the distractor, guys. Freaking raid. Oh no, Supple. Supple, you need to kill this thing. Supple, you need to kill it quickly, Supple! Supple, please! <laughs> Supple, target the right thing, Supple! Oh, ah, Supple! <laughs> it's gonna take out the guns! It's gonna take out the guns! The guns are gone! Ta-ta-ta-da! <sighs> <sighs> Bum, 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 bum. Cat jam, cat away, cat away, cat away. Oh, shucks. The red is chasing you. <laughs> they're terrified of the red. Goodness. I'm just done. I'm done. That's, that's, yeah. No, I, yeah. I've, I've seen everything there is to see in reassembly. A single raid defeating five ships on its own. Raid supremacy. <laughs> Although, to, to be fair, it did need the help of a, of a Terran to do some tanking for it. But, yo! That is a good raid design. Oh, wow. That is a pinpoint effective raid design. Bloody hell. Where's this raid? Okay, it's fine. I can't catch up to you now. Some bolt, you have a chance. It's not a great chance, but it's a, <laughs> there is a slight chance. He's gonna no, he's got eight seconds. Ah, GG sample, GG. Good fleet, good fleet. Well done, owl. Well done. Shame, sample. Sample's out of it. Sample's gone, guys. Sample's gone. Sample's gone. Sure. Rough. Sumble had a good flick too. Okay, time for Debricks versus Deja Vu. West Coast Products versus Deja Vu. Yeah. Oh no, speaking of raids. <laughs> it, survived. it survived. It survived way too long. Oh no, it's alive. <gasps> no. You can't just do that to me. Oh, Dukey. Come on, Debrex. Debrex. Madness. Okay, well, it seems that red assassin vessels are just now the proper meta. This is ridiculous. Ho, ho, ho! Here we go! <laughs> Battle of the Titans now, yeah. It's Jason Bourne! Yeah, Splinter. Your. The Titan has fallen. Debris fell. We didn't think... I mean, uh, Duke Slayer fell. We didn't think he could lose, but he lost. He met a raid in combat. <laughs> His foolhardy mistake was to ignore a raid in combat. Incredible. Gone. Oh. We need to nerf raids. <laughs> we need to nerf raids. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. Oh, okay. Okay, bear in mind, if that red gets targeted for five seconds, it's going to lose half of its existence. The only reason it's doing very well in its shooting category, and in its, in its assassin role, is because nothing's shooting at it. The moment something starts to genuinely shoot at the, any of these red ships for longer than a couple of seconds, they are dead. Dead completely dead like we've seen what happens when just when a crystal decides to just turn a couple of its main guns and fire at the darn thing it just dies quickly but the thing is that these raids have been managing to basically dive on distracted targets and just shroomp right through the thing they were trying to kill didn't have sufficient dps at range fast enough to actually just kill the raid quickly um but i mean the raid dies to missiles among other things the downside of red ships, Zygorg. Um, they are the weakest faction in the entire game, in terms of in terms of like hull strength, and they have no range. They are short range glass cannons, the complete opposite of what you want a glass cannon to be, basically. 
Imagine a bare-chested guy with a shotgun. He's like, like this is a war. Like this is a sci-fi battlefield where they're like guys in like armored exosuits running around with like plasma rifles. And this guy, the, the red, he has he's just bare-chested. He's got like goggles on, and he's got like a just like a a plasma shotgun. Wow, GG debris. Uh, uh, Duke. Okay, Duke versus Owl. This should be interesting. Yeah, so the Reds are the guys with bare chested plasma shotgun. That's it. They're useless in all other roles and will die very quickly. But yo, when they decide to actually shoot something, they are. When they get close and shoot, gone. I mean, it's unbelievable. But um, you do need to actually survive. Red, this is. Okay, Owl. This is a problem, Owl. I might need to just ban you. <laughs> this is too good. This, is, this feels broken. But, um, you know what? I mean, risk versus reward, eh? Risk versus reward. I mean, there goes the red. Pop, pop, pop. Couple missiles. It's a good chunk out of it. Oh, no. Oh! That is so satisfying. That is so satisfying. Goggles, Imba, please nerf. Yeah. Woo, go owl, says Lyolf. <laughs> Correct, Al. Either they die in five seconds or the enemy does. And that's basically... That's, that's just how raids work, unfortunately. Every other faction, Zygorg, Zygorg has actual staying power. Um, every other faction has health, some staying power, ranged options, decent missiles, go good good enough guns. Terran just have... The raids just have... Um, Tempests. And they're, and they're very cheap uh, laser point defense. And that's basically all they're good at. Tempests and the laser drones. Red laser drones actually are, are nothing to scoff at. They are very effective. But then you need a critical mass of them and you need the enemy not to have sufficient point defense. Like Owl's Terran ship over here has really good point defense because he's using a lot of blast pulses. Oh my word, run. Run, Duke's out, run. Actually, no, don't run. That's just a tinkerel ship. Duke, you could have killed that ship. Owl. Owl, you're a monster. Owl, you're a monster today. You're unstoppable. He's an absolute psychopath. Oh no, the red. <laughs> the red. The red has some cover from his buddies. He just opens fire. It's ridiculous. Look at the red, guys. Okay, the red might actually die here now. Come on, Duke. Torpedo salvo. Oh, no, 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 the red's, red's not, his red's not stand for that. Oh, no, Dukey. Oh, Torpedo, oh, 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 he's, he's between a rock, he's between two very heavy vessels with guns trailed, trained on him. This is like a hero battle. The red's more important than the rest of the fight. Oh, the red's gonna die. Oh, 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 no! <laughs> Yo, okay. Well, Duke, you've beaten you've beaten Owls as um you've beaten Owls as hero. I think I think I think Duke's got it now. Great. You just all you have to do is defeat the red and then you just win. <laughs> Duke's lucky he would not be wiped out in three seconds. Uh, <laughs> uh. Yeah, yeah, nicely said, uh, my dude. <laughs> Interesting name. I'm gonna call you dude. Is that, yeah, the reds have healing drones, so they're very useful support in that sense, and they have just normal drones, but, um, no, I mean, when you build a red properly, and they survive. Thing is, a support red is gonna live a lot longer than a normal red, so you can at least rely on its existence a little bit longer. Ooh, what are the missiles from this? Oh, right. This is this ship. Duke's just dedicated missile ship. It's a torment. It killed the red. So it's probably going to kill all the other stuff. Oh, yo. Owl's still four... Is still three... Oh, Owl. Nice. Nice. Didn't he? I wasn't even watching the timer. Yo. Oh, finals, guys. By the way, Duke. Well done. Well done. Lovely fleet. Very cool. Love the bee ship. Guys, it's the Battle of the Ages now. We have two reds. Oh, red. Red on red. Red on red action. Ah, 
they both died. They both died. Both the raids are gone. Guys. Guys, both the raids are gone. This could go either way now. This could go either way. <laughs> oh, no, it's 6-4. Okay, no. More, more favoring debris. Okay. The raids are just the jack. They're just randomness. It's madness. Absolute insanity. Yeah, and the nuke. Owl. Owl. <laughs> Owl is a very random heavy <laughs> team. He has a nuke and a raid. Yeah. A, a nuke and a raid brawler, to be specific. Okay, Debris still has their... It's just Debris, right? Yeah, it's the brick color. So Debris still has his... stuff. I might be getting confused who ships are who. The colors are just difficult to tell. Ooh. One ship down. 6-1. Ooh, Owly. Yeah, that was Debris. Uh, Tinkrell. Wow, oh, first round goes to debris. Oh, one red down. Okay, debris has his red. Debris has his red. So I think Owl's screwed. <laughs> debris has his red, and he still has his main, make it his main tank. So Owl's pretty much. Gonna oh, Al's got no chance. He's got no chance. Okay, after this round, I'm gonna do more rounds. I'm literally just gonna put these two in a battle together because I just want to watch this happen like three times. The raid RNG is so ridiculous, and I just want to happen to see this happen a few more times. Oh, Al, did you already fight this? Did you already fight the Breeze fleet? Round one. Yeah, GG. Grass the Rui. Sheesh. Wow. That was not a... That was not a very grand... That was not a very climactic finale, was it? A bit underwhelming. Yo! Gone. Yeah, who, who'd have thought top hemisphere? Debris, well done. An owl? Well done, owl. Owl, a lovely fleet. Very nice. For just sending it. <laughs> yeah, Owl spent like 30 seconds on it. That's why it's so effective. He didn't. He didn't spend any time making it look good, so it just ended up being really effective. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. Oh. Well, thank you for very much, everyone. I'm gonna put these two back in. A, I want to see these two fight again. But thank you very much. If anyone wants to go, the Bree has won the the effective proper tournament. But has he won? The long stretch gamble of the dice. <laughs> well done, Debris. Well done. Excellent. Well done. And thank you very much, everyone else, for, for joining in, for submitting sh fl sh uh, uh, for submitting ships. I know this is quite a demanding build because you have to build seven unique vessels. Um, and with a mod that, that basically changed the balance a little bit. But I hope you enjoyed this. I hope this was fun. I hope this was good to look at. We're now going to commence a little bit of an after party, just to have some have some have some fights that we might want to see. Um, okay, all right, people. Um, let's get some votes in. Who wants? Could somebody get up a straw poll? Splinter, could you get up like a straw poll or something? And um, but let's just hear some suggestions. Does anyone want to see some fights specifically? I I know I want to see more owl versus debris. I want to see more owl versus debris. So, we're going to do that. <laughs> but then, any other suggestions? I'm more than happy to... We can do some stuff. We can do some crazy stuff. Um, <laughs> he only won it halfway because he had assistance. That's <laughs> poor Splinter. Splinter in his fury. In his boiling fury. Thanks, Laps. My pleasure, Imperia. Thank you. Thank you, Owl. Thank you. My pleasure. Thank you, Debris. <laughs> and thank you, everyone. Thank you to everyone, obviously. Sending in very nice fleets, very fun fleets. I'm in bed, can't get a straw poll. Well done, Splinter Man. Well done. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, people, send in. Yeah, just give me your suggestions. You can send it in on. Just put it in the chat. Don't send it to me on Discord. I, 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 my windows are all everywhere. I can't get them. I want to see my fleet, fleet rematch Owl and Debris. So, we want to see. Duke. Versus Owl and Debris. So just these three again. Yeah, which are the, the top three. 
Well, and Sample. The top four would be the and Sample. <laughs> Except like, I want vengeance. Mixed ship fleet versus the bricks. Like ship second from all the other fleets. Um, not a bad. Uh, I lie off. I like the idea, but the problem is coordinating it is going to be a nightmare. Because I'd have to go find them again, drag them out, put them in things. Yeah, no, I can't. <laughs> Sadly, I'd like to do that, but you can only have really seven. So unless I went like <clears throat> gave debris more ships, and then we put. Duke and Owl's fleets together and let them fight. That would be very interesting. Actually, that's not a bad idea. Okay. <clears throat> I'm just going to see these. I just want to watch these two fight one more time. Splinter would like a quick match versus Duke. Okay, we'll do that. I'm just going to do two rounds of this. I just want to see if the red RNG gives Owl at least one win. No, the red got wrecked. You see, heavy firepower at the front. He could quickly kill the red before the red really got a chance to do much. And then Owl lacks anything with tanky health. So he doesn't really have staying power after that. Like, the red is his Hail Mary, you know? Hail Mary? Where does that come from? I don't know. I don't know, what does that even mean? It's just his his random luck, you know? Owl, the red is just Owl's I win button, <laughs> if it survives. But if it doesn't, then it's... Yeah, it doesn't have a lot of staying power. At least not against this sort of fleet, which has some pretty good um, directed damage. <laughs> I think Duke is underestimating red presence. <laughs> Duke versus Splinter. I was victim of bad matchups, poor old... Okay, x we'll give you... We'll give you a fight against the winner. So, Duke wants to rematch against Owl and Debris. Well, I'm Owl and Debris are having their little rematch. Splinter would like to fight Duke. Yeah, do you accept to fight Splinter? Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, that's an idea. A lord. It only works because of the 77 format. Wow, the red actually, the red almost got it. The red almost got it. Okay, we don't have to see this again. That's fine. All right, I think I think Owl. If you had a if if we had a, if we gave this enough tries, you would get a win, and it would be really satisfying. But I'm not going to wait for it. So um, I'd like to. Well, we'll we'll do another round of this after we've gone through some of the other ones. So, <coughs> pardon me. Duke versus Owl and Debris. Okay, we'll do that later. Duke versus Splinter. I don't want to see Duke versus Splinter. Let's do Duke, Duke versus Splinter. Okay, give me a second. I'm just gonna go into my. I'm gonna re-import all the fleets. So. Um. Oh yeah, and I did have to increase the. F I did actually have to put more thrusters on Duke's main ship because it was too slow initially. So uh, that's just something funny to. I need to actually just remember that because I have to replace it with the actual sped up version. So we no Duke. And you want this other sh the fixed ship. I are on the streets and I know it's my time to go. What a great song. What a great song. Splinter. Let's get Splinter. Have we seen Duke vs Splinter? Did we see that? Okay, so Duke vs. Splinter. Uh, I think Duke is under his own represent works because of the 77 format. The red overall performance similar to how it did in uh, testing. Do seven reds. Uh, my guess is Duke's Terran doesn't have enough DPS to kill the red like Debris. Crystal, Distraction, or B, I kill very quickly. 
Want to be attacked against the B, no doubt the reason one of more. To buy a bit of time, Brid versus Duke. Regardless, I'm pretty happy with these results. True. I suspect that I'd get to second off putting in about five hours, so close enough. Seven times of Owl's Red Ship might be funny. <laughs> yeah, it might be. Uh, Excerpt is sad. Well, let Excerpt fight. Excerpt, who do you want to fight? Excerpt, you can pick one person to have a matchup against. What matchup, Splinter? What matchup did we never get? I can let these two play in the background. Not in the background. In the, in the main ground. Let's see how these two do. Ooh, B, right into there. <clears throat> Me won't fight French angry noises. Next step, tell me who you want to fight, and then you can you can fight. You can have a you can have a rematch or a a uh, a, th a match, not a rematch at all. Like a rematch. No rematches, <laughs> unless it's the Bree versus Owl, because that genuinely feels like it's on the toss of a hat. You want to fight Owl, Debris? I mean, uh, Exterp. Exterp wants to fight Owl. Okay. Fine. What is this camera angle? What is this? It's just Fight Club. Everyone's just in a circle. <laughs> fight Club? Am I thinking of the right thing? Or am I not? I don't know. 4v, 4v5. Pop. Splinter is losing. Duke's got more ships me so far. Ooh, Splint. See, Splint, I don't know how this ship is... I mean, okay, it is a Burst Pulsar, but... Like, what's its plan? Like, Burst Pulse is a good secondary weapon, but I don't think it's a very good primary weapon for a big capital ship. Deja vu, Duke Slayer. Oh, you never had the Duke Splinter matchup. Oh, I see, I see. Big delay. Yeah, no, there is a big... It's like a minute delay. It's like a 30 second delay. Not a minute, it's like 30 seconds. So, um, please, yeah. When you say things, include a lot of information for me, otherwise I have no clue. I hadn't realized my turn was a bunch. <laughs> uh, no plans! Ooh, ooh, Splinter. That was nice. I mean, this is an excellent... You see what I mean? It's a, it's a good, like, anti-kiter, like, light ship loadout. But it's not a very good loadout for, like, what it seems to do more often, which is brawl. Um, but, you know, it's fine. Duke B ate his own ship. <laughs> Duke's B ate his own ship. <laughs> yeah, Duke's B does that quite often. It's actually quite funny. Oh, Duke's B is dead. <laughs> Splinter's little... Little uh, Tinkerel is just kind of hiding in the in the husk, <laughs> landing some nice little sniper pot shots. Foggy morning, my splinter. Hi. Good, even matchup. Hey, I mean you're winning. Go on, you got one win, Splints. You got one win. <laughs> Literally rammed into the enemy. Yeah, Exterp, I see you saying me versus Al. I see you. You fights literally boil down to if the red survives or not. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, where's the red in this situation? Wait, what? Isn't this... Yeah, yeah, no. Splinter's red is just a, um... <clears throat> no, it's Duke's red, sorry. Which one is Splinter's red? Does Splinter have a red? Is it dead already? I think it's dead already. Oh no, there it is. There it is! Yeah. Tactical cover, Lamao. Those shards. 
Oh, oh, Dukey boy, now be careful, Dukey boy. Now be careful. This ain't the sort of critter you can just charge and walk out from, boy. When you fight a red, you gotta respect your distances. Look at this, what is happening over here? This is, this is so weird. <laughs> it's just, oh, it's good. Oh, it's so funny. It's 5v5. With the camera analyst. My red can ironically snipe the other red. Yeah. Splinter, nice! Splinter got a win! Well done, Splints. Okay, we don't need to see that again. Um, let's just put this to uh, single elimination. Or pool, it's fine. Okay. So, we wanted to see... Who, who else? Who else? Who else? Wanted to see... <laughs> uh, Xterp asks if he can if you know, if he can go fight Owl. Which is alright, we'll let Xterp fight Owl. Except got like two battles, the poor guy. Well, so did some other people. So, you know, then owl. Okay. GG. Yeah, yeah. Okay, extra versus owl. Let's see how this fight sounds. Okie dokie. Already choky. Oh. Extrips uh, Tinkrel doing good work. Although Extrips is losing a couple of ships. He's lost two. Five, six. Ooh, Extrip. Oh, Extrip, your raid! The problem is, Extrip, your raid was trying to kill the Terran rather than kill the other raid. <laughs> so. I think the other good key to Owl's raid ship is um, that all the weapons fire ends up going in a very straight direction. It's very uh, unified, which means it does a lot of damage very easily in a very small amount of space, so it can punch through stuff very quickly. Too late on the draw, amigo! Owl's raid, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Lie off once ever go. Sure, lie off, we can put you against Owl. Who else wanted to fight? Um, was Duke? No. Oh, Duke wants to see his ship, his fleet rematch Owl and Debris. Yeah, I remember that. Sure, well then Lyolf can have a fight against Owl next. Oh, Unified Derp Mode is not doing well. Oh, Xterp. I think this might just not be a very good fleet. <laughs> no shame. That doesn't... I don't know, Xterp. I mean, Xterp, what's your HP again? Yeah, I mean, if only the if only the support raid actually, you know. Oh wait, wait, wait! Did Owl lose his raid? Oh, <gasps> nice. There's hope. <laughs> uh, so Xterp has his has his B, and his Tinkrel. Okay, okay. Yeah, I don't think he can really win this. But he come. Duke's like, I no longer, no longer need the rematch. I've been humbled. 
<laughs> Beaten fair and square. Oh, poor old Duke. <coughs> okay. All right. Oh, I didn't mute myself for that. Oh well. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, how would have Duke fared with a gunship red? How would he have fared? Okay, Lyolf wanted to go against Owl for reasons. Uh, Lyolf. Lyolf, uh, hold on. I didn't have to do any fixes to your fleet, did I? No, your fleet was completely fine. Alrighty, let's go. I didn't have enough time to build all the custom ships, says Duke. Yeah. Swinsman. Red level DPS probably gets a boost from enemies running into them at 250 acceleration. I do agree with you, Splinter. I do agree with you a lot. I mean, a slow enemy with long range guns is going to kill a, a red before it gets too close to them, but. Ooh, oh, lie off. No, lie off. <laughs> well, lie off. <clears throat> on the bright side, Owls as a red is never going to catch her B. Ever. Splinter says, yeah. Uh. <laughs> well, you know, five minutes is all Owl needs. Ah! <gasps> <laughs> Yeah, Lyoff, I wasn't... I'm, Lyoff, I'm not sure about your... What is this? Is that your Tinkerel? I need to see Lyoff's fleet again. Here, yeah, we'll speed this one up. I want to see his... I want to see his... Uh, well, not, not, not a lot. We'll just make it a little bit faster. See if we can focus in on some interesting moments. Ooh, Lyoff. Lyoff is your poor sentinel ship trying to... Fend off drones with um, its gorse beams. Actually, you have quite a nice degree of fire with those. That's actually pretty nice. Well done. <laughs> Owl's red will never catch you, famous last words. Yeah. Yeah, Lyle, I'm not sure what the plan was with that tank. <laughs> I'm not sure what. <laughs> Oh, wait, no. Uh, yeah, exactly. I can't remember what your tink looks like, so I can't remember if yours, you're the one with the tink that has an interesting design decision. I'd have to look. This red is OP, man. Look at this. Gone. Okay, win it. Okay. Owl? Yes, 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 yes. Owl has it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, pause. Lyolf red tink. Yeah, t yeah. Lyolf has a... Lyolf, why? Why is it a drone ship? I mean, listen... Very nice design, Lyolf. I love it. It looks really nice. It's a really nice ship design. It would make out. It would tell you what. In terms of who's made a more owl feathers fleet, I think. I think unfortunately, owl Lyolf has kind of beat you. <laughs> He's got a. This is a very owl feathers kind of ship. Very nice. Very nice. Um. And this and this obviously just looks nice. I mean, Lyolf, your whole fleet looks very nice. I just like. I love the designs on all of them. Um. Key. Okay, that's fine. Um, I don't know what else I wanted to say. Let's just look at this red. Yeah, I'll just look at that. It's pure gun stick. Gun stick with flex thrusters. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, I'll play. Um, there's only cool max speed. It's all about this. Uh, AP and melee, what are you talking about, max speed? Why are you talking about max speed? Our read will never catch you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. MGW, regardless of spacers, and I think a lot of tanks have their budgets going. Let's do a this thing. Dark against it. Okay, I guess they're having a chat. Okay. Time to rewind so I can see my B actually doing something. <laughs> this is a shame I missed it. Oh, shame, Duke. That's a real shame. I'm not really watching the fight. I'm sorry, guys. I'm trying to. <gasps> Raid's down! Red's down. I'm not really watching the fight, he says, as he 
finally decides to watch the fight as the raid gets wiped off the face of the earth. Lyle, you have a chance, boy. Take him down. Um... I went drone boat tank too, and I kind of regret it. Yeah, drone boat tankerel is not a it's not a good design, unfortunately. Tinkerel drones are terrible. They're okay, I guess, but they're not very good. They cost a lot, don't they? I gotta remember. Whatever. It was a thematic choice since it's, since it's <laughs> to make it launch lots of paper. Lie off! I don't think that's how that works. Lie off! Lie off! I don't think that's how that works. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Alas, it's okay. I'll. We get to have more spotlights on red. Should have used rocket tink drones, says AML. Oh, this will go by better. Arthur, buff rocket tink drones, please. <laughs> because tink is so OP, you should use the game's longest range drones. Yep. Uh, this red, by the way, can't actually sustain fire indefinitely. Oh, I'm sure it can't, Owl. It has a lot of guns. My farm is my, da is my damage dealer here, and it wasn't killed at the start. I see, Lyoff, I see. Oh yeah, you're your farmer, your literal missile farmer, which is a very funny ship. Well done, Lyoff, there you go, you have a win. Nice. Nice man, nice. Um Alert, alert, red down, red down. Well I gotta go. Thanks for hosting. Oh, cheers Joyce, cheers Joyce, go well, go well Joyce. There's more guns than it can power it, but Alpha Strike really hard for like the first five seconds or so. Tank drones are okay, but they just use too much power. Cool, Al. I get you, I get you. What is that? What is this? <laughs> is this Owl's? It's Owl's, um, B... Whoa. Owl, your tank just stopped your raid from killing that crystal. You know that, right? <laughs> oh, never mind. Crystal's still going down. Crystal's still going down. Crystal down. Crystal down. <laughs> oh, my life. The thing is, this thing is ridiculous point defense. Because all the red are are just point defense. Again. Goodbye, poor little Tinkrell drone carrier. Boom. Uh, right. That's probably the right move here. Two generators per drone launcher. Lay off, come back. All right, probably hope hopping off after this one. Gotta go, everyone. Just Splinter. Just Splinter. Um, what's one to one? Five. I mean, five to one. <laughs> that stupid bloody red is ridiculous. It's actually unbelievable. Okay. All right. Let's hold on. Okay. Who else wanted to fight? I can't remember honestly. Seven of these against. Um. Against the bricks, the might of the bricks. Okay. Actually, can like afford an eighth. You could actually just afford an eighth. It's funny. It's, I just want to see. I just want to see how this is going to work out. Hey, Jonas, you missed the entire tournament. <laughs> oh, ho, 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 shit. <laughs> Owl, you have a... Owl, you have a dangerous vessel here, boy. <laughs> you auto modes. Jonas lives, says Al. Oh, shit, now I have to stay to watch this one, too. <laughs> Did you do splits about it? Did you do splits? Owl, why are your reds so damn overpowered? <laughs> it's just gone! It's just gone! It's three reds! It's three reds versus seven! <laughs> this is like a bunch of normal ships, and you're telling me that a fleet of reds won. Okay, the Tinkerel might win, but only if it doesn't get cocky. Oh, it's, oh, it's getting cocky. It's getting cocky. Shit. <laughs> Beautiful. This is Lyle for Deed Love. It is absolutely fantastic. Mwah. Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Tipperee still wins. 
Well, I'm shocked. The bricks. The Brian and Barry X. <laughs> oh my life. Okay, we don't have to watch that. <laughs> this is just a sad excuse. One more time, one more time. Let's see, just, I just want to see what happens. <laughs> uh, oh wow owl okay owl got his butt handed to him this time but uh... oi, 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 oi. okay there you go hold on um Give him, just give him a plasma, just give him a plasma brawler. Let's just see what happens. Because the plasma brawler was like a nice. <laughs> the eternal weakness of raids, rage indeed. Yeah, shame Al. You do need just need a nice little raid drone ship. <laughs> it would work wonderfully then. The bricks is a champ. Yeah, Splinter. Crystal, a good counter. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. This stupid bloody fleet. Okay, owl, owl, owl. I want you to, owl, tell me what red drone from which red from which fleet you want a red uh, drone ship. So I think it's like three. I can't fully remember. Red RNG is hilarious. Yeah. Live on the run. How's it going? Hey Jenna, Joyous, Iolf. Wait, did I, did Lyolf leave? I can't remember now. It's very tragic. Yeah, either they get absolutely obliterated or they obliterate everything. This is a very special moment. Ah, I see the issue. Says Owl. What is the issue, Owl? The radar doesn't actually close into range against the crystalline brawler. It's a radius issue. I see. I see. I see. Still here. Ah, good old laugh. Good. <laughs> Alright, people. Well, it's been like three hours, so it's about time I close off the stream because my throat is in pain and I need to go to sleep. Oh, I say go to sleep. I'm not going to sleep soon, but. Um, I want to definitely rest. <laughs> Go have some more food. Okay, Owl, these reds are ridiculous. I love this. I love this to bits. Get him, Owl. Come on. Nice. <laughs> uh, hold on. Is this just pure unobtainium? What is this? Nah, red ship's going down. Ooh. Ooh. Owl, you're going to win. Owl, you might win. No. Okay. No. No, no, no. No. Nah, never mind. The problem is the Terran ship has got way too much range. Unless... Here we go, Owl. Here we go, Owl. Here you go, Owl. Come on, Owl. Come on, Owl. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Get him. Oh, this is a battle of the century. This is the war of the century. <laughs> oh, no. Owl, no charge. <laughs> oh, no. Um, the longer nose on Debrix's, um, of Debrix's crystal and messes with it, it's engagement range, which, well, Duke doesn't cause that issue from the looks of it. I see, I see. Well, even now, Debris just wins again. Ridiculous. Alright, everybody, I think that's enough for tonight. <laughs> it's enough for this. Owl think you can fix that by setting all the Tempest Order Fire with a shorter range weapon set to primary. Well, not a bad idea. Um, but then it might do a bit too much execution heavy behavior. All right. Well, thank you very much, everyone, for s everyone that's still here. AI plus. <laughs> yeah, no, absolutely. Well, thank you, everybody, for uh, for coming, and thank you for staying through the little after show. I was going to go grab... Um, st <laughs> Please stop this. <laughs> oh, shame, Al. Listen, Al, you got second place. You have nothing to complain about. Yeah, thank you, Lyle. Thank you for entering, Lyle. Thank you. Good, everybody. Yeah, so thank you for coming along, guys. Thank you for joining me for the after party, and you are free to go your own ways. Great. And this is the end of Unified Armada.
probably number one. We might, we might have a number two. Who see? Who knows? Who knows? All right. Thank you very much, everybody, for for uh, for being here. And until next time. Cheery, reary, oh.